If you are listening to this, my name is Kylie. Welcome collection family, remember no spamming, no cursing and please no sus comments. Remember to hit the like button, and subscribe if you are new, Corvette Corvette. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the stream. Man, you guys are so needy, but I had some time this morning because <laughs> I had to fill up my water bottle. What up, everybody? Good morning. What up? What up? <laughs> Rad for the people. <laughs> I saw your guys comment. And I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll put up Kylie real quick because I have to. Uh, I had to get some water, so I had a little bit of time. So there you go. <laughs> what up, everybody? Appreciate you guys tapping in. Good morning. Um, hope everyone is doing all right. Um, happy, what is it? Wednesday. Oh my goodness. It is halfway through the week. Finally, man. It is freaking Wednesday. What up, chat? No, Diddy. Good morning, J JS Mom. What up, T -squa Square in the building? Well, Jamie, Big Ron's Kicks, G Face, Chaos. What up? Uh, Casanova Kane. What up? Good morning, my guy. Happy hump day. Uh, Jay made in the building. Tyler, what up? Drex in the building. What's good? Cushy Souls, Assad, what's good? Happy hump day. Who else is here? Good morning, good morning, good morning. We love Kylie. Yeah, Aisha, Ola, good morning. Uh, Deleon, what up? Jay Bay's in the building. What's good? Um... Live, laugh, SBs on the on 417. Did it get loaded up? Mr. Stanley, what up, dude? Sos in the building, town legend. What's good? People out here stealing food stamps, wiped out all my benefits. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Town legend, what? Uh-oh. Bachi, what up, dude? King James in the building. Uh, T-Ski in the building, what's good? Uh, the real one in the building, what up? I suppose. Dope Jeremiah, what's good? Jamie, what's good, man? Just do it in the building, what's good? Good morning. Um, Let's see. Uh, look, G-Face says, Drex, I need some ink, brother. There we go. Yo, G-Face, hit up um, uh, hit up uh, Drex. Use my code. Use my code, Rafi Collects. <laughs> uh, Dominic, what up? Angel, what up, dude? Uh, appreciate you guys tapping in, man. Good morning. Scene lover in the building. What's good? Um, well, appreciate you guys. Yeah, make sure you, uh, hit him up on Instagram. Dre do you guys, uh, Drex, do you follow, I don't know if G-Face has Instagram, so you might have to, uh, communicate through Discord. You might have to communicate th through Discord. Orlando, what up, man? Out of sight, mine in the building. What's good? Good morning, good morning. Uh, straight to toe, what's good? Good morning. Also, um, I did, I was going to tell you guys that the reason why I was a little late too, for some reason, like my screen wasn't like turning on every time I turned my computer on. So I had to unplug it and plug it back in. I was doing all this extra shit this morning. I was like, bro, what is going on? Chalupa, good morning. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Angel, what up? What up, G? Straight to toe in the building. Good morning. Appreciate you guys tapping in, man. Dude. This is when you guys know. Raider Alex, what up, man? This is when you know that it's like slow, that no one wants these fours. LS, uh, LVVS Diamond, what's good? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But like I'm telling you guys, like, what up, Chalupa? Chalupa in the building. Uh, Gage in the building, what's good? Dude, nobody wants these fours, man. You guys don't want these fours? Y'all don't want these fours or what? You guys don't want EA? Watch, I don't even get exclusive access, dude. I'm my, my account is clipped, dude. My account is clipped. Uh what uh what fours? It's the vivid sur sulfurs. Uh stretch kicks. What up, dude? Assad in the building. Good morning. Uh screen problem equals uh Travis backdoor. Facts. Also, I had trouble freaking uh changing my um vertical stream to back to horizontal. I was like, dude, I I don't know what was going on. These fours ain't it, facts, dude. They're okay. They're nothing crazy. Hood Zombie, what up, man? If they uh, had large size, I would uh, have considered. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, the fact that it's a woman's exclusive, I think that kind of turned some people off because they, they knew when they saw a woman's exclusive, it wasn't going to come in uh, into a... They weren't going to drop extended sizing for the shoe anyway. So it's like, eh. 
Uh, now you can keep those fours. Just chilling says, okay. Never get EA for woman's uh, woman shoes. Yeah, I feel you. Not a big four guy. They're nice though. Maybe if they uh, go on sale. Yo, straight to toe. You're not a four guy. What's your favorite Jordan silhouette? What's your favorite uh, silhouette? A solid Steelers colorway. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's a solid Steeler colorway. Someone said the SBs got loaded up. I thought that I thought someone was that you, Cushy. You said that some dunks got are like dropping on the seventeenth. Chevy rides. What up, Chevy? What's good, my boy? Good morning. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these fours, but I mean, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm gonna go for them anyways. Drex says, "Hey, man, listen. If you don't have any yellow in your collection, you might as well. You know, like I have the yellow. I have the Thunder fours, so it's like I don't need these. It's like one of those." Uh, the Caitlin Clark fours, yeah. Shiesty, what up? Have you talked about the Adidas shoe box uh, shoe uh, situation? Mm, what do you mean by what do you mean by it? What do you mean, Mary to designer? Good morning, man. How you doing? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I thought wasn't that an April Fool's joke? Wasn't that an April Fool's joke? Cushy Souls, what did you see that get um loaded? Oh, you said it's uh not loaded up yet. Where did you hear that it's dropping on the 17th? Let's see. When, where did you hear that? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. It says, uh, April 17th. Oh, uh, Uncle Chrissy posted, that's why. Okay. I'm seeing it now. It says, Nike Dunk, uh, Nike SB Dunk uh, Low, Live, Laugh, Love. April 17th, $125. 50,000 stock numbers. 50,000 stock numbers. 50,000. Very, very put it in here. I will never charge anyone for release information, shock shop info, stock numbers, or anything of that sort. 50,000 is not a lot. Wow. Wow. Uh, you know what? Let me tell you guys something. When I thought that, like, you know, SBs were going to be more available for everybody. I was wrong. 50,000. Dude, 50,000 ain't, ain't much, dude. It's it. Yeah, it's not. It's it's a pass for me. Like, I'm okay with it. Like, it's I. But, dude, load. When you thought. <laughs> when you thought that, you know, we're going to get something not limited. And SBs were going to be a little bit more widely available. And I was wrong. 50,000 of stock numbers it's looking like, which is not a lot at all. Low stock. There's raffles for the Adidas box that comes with something else if you win. Okay. Jordan says there's a raffle for the uh, Adidas box that comes with something else if you win. Man, Adidas just saying dumb shit like that so they could sell it, man. Adidas is down bad. Like, really, really down bad. <laughs> Like, really down bad, where they got to do something stupid so they could grab people's attention. Be like, guys, I know that Adidas is over. I know Adidas Yeezy is over. But, like, they got to grab our attention to, like, drop something stupid like this. I'm not going to hold y'all. Like, the box thing, it's it's funny, but it's, it's like, really kind of, like, eh. It's like, I, I, I would just buy it just because it's, like, one of those dumb items I would buy, you know? Um, I guess there is a chance to get an EA to win a custom shoe cabinet by, uh, by, uh, Gab, uh, Gab boys. Who's that? The box is going to be empty. I think it's a giveaway, not a sale. Oh, gotcha. It's just a giveaway. Gotcha. So it's a chance to, um, so it's basically a chance to win something. But other than that, you're just gonna you're just gonna buy an empty box. <laughs> you my dude, Rav. What up, Marvy? Good morning. What's good? I guess I mean we'll see how much the box even is, man. The box, there's no way, dude. Imagine like, yo, imagine buying like two hundred dollars uh, of an empty box to wear. <laughs> These uh, Trivia SBs look great with the uh, blue rope laces. If I would grab, you know what, Tony? If I had, if I had grabbed these shoes, I'd probably go. I would probably keep the, the cell laces, the the cell lace, uh, rope laces. These are not bad though. These are not bad. I think I think these are a little bit. Dude, these are better than the Futuras. 
Uh, what I missed, what's dropping? What up, Treyway? What's good? We got the fours, EA, Finish Line, and JD Sports uh, going to be dropping at 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'm guessing the uh, Vastoral uh, will get pushed then, scheduled for the 22nd, but I doubt that they do two SBs release back-to-back. -back. Hey, man, you never know. You never know. Things could happen. I mean, they could possibly drop, you know, things back to back. But I mean, you're, I mean, you may be, you may be right. Um, they might not even drop SBs back to back, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the Adidas golden ticket winner are down. Dude, for real, Dr. Shoe, that is so, oh my gosh. Dude, every time Adidas does the golden ticket winner stuff, like that shit is so stupid. I've never, I don't even think I've seen any winners. I don't think I've ever seen anyone that wins the golden ticket from Adidas. It's such a scam, bro. <laughs> uh, they said the chance to win a custom uh, Gab Boys shoes. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Uh, so the box shoe is an actual box for the shoe. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, it's so interesting the way they, like, it's so weird the way they did it. Um, I mean, I, I have that, that type of Adidas box. I could just make it myself. <laughs> have you seen the vivid sulfur in person how's the uh yellow on them is it a true yellow or i'm not sure i have not to answer your question i have not seen the jordan fours in hand i have not seen the jordan fours in hand possibly two every month through the summer i uh, you know what i hope so tony i really hope so if you're talking about two sbs a month till the summer that would be kind of cool because like it's like we've been getting so many pushbacks of shoes and sneakers it's like dude, i don't know why they have to do that you know like i mean in general um I, I just hope they don't push anything back i mean look jordans keep getting pushed back and i wouldn't be surprised if the blue military fours get pushed back again so um which i well i i doubt that it would but still like um i'm tired of some of these pushbacks man just drop the damn shoe who cares how many uh stock numbers uh that we're getting just drop them you know martin what up dude what's good uh where are they dropping is it on sneakers uh no they're gonna be dropping on the in uh excuse me finish line jd sports app uh today's in-store exclusive access um but the official drop is gonna be saturday for the shoe on sneakers app so um at least we're not uh spending money to uh boost our raffles for the golden ticket cough cop day oh gosh you know what let me tell y'all something i'm it's bittersweet now that like Yeezys, Adidas Yeezys is officially over. I mean, obviously, like, you know, there's a good amount of people that will still buy Yeezys. I mean, sure, some of you guys would buy some Yeezy size, some foam runners. Um, and then, you know, obviously, if they bring back, you know, the OGs, if they bring back Wave Runners, you know, 350 V2 Red Stripes or, you know, you know, Zebras or anything that sort, I'm sure a lot of people would go for it. But like, it's kind of bittersweet because I was thinking about this yesterday, too. Like, I was like, man, it's crazy how like the sneaker game right now and, the you know, it's it's, it's definitely died down dramatically. And not only that, it's like. The pandemic during the pandemic was such a good time for, um, you know, not only just like people staying home and getting sick and shit like that, like that aside, like that really like kind of brought everybody into the sneaker community in a way like. I don't know if that explains much, but it's not like I'm not saying that the community was like, you know, not popping before that, but like it was like. Dude, it was popping, popping. Like it, there, everyone had no choice but staying home. And, and if you're, you know, they were into sneakers, like they were watching, you know, uh, YouTube and, and this and this. And you know, shoes used to be so hard to get, but now it's like everything is officially open. Everything is, you know, officially like, you know, back to normal. It's like, man, like everything is just so slow and nothing is really selling. And that's what kind of turns a lot some people off because it's like, oh man, what am I gonna sell? Da -da -da this like you know because like, there's some resellers out there trying to figure out how they're gonna make money you know off their sneakers so it's like dude it's just crazy how like we had like a huge switch within a couple years and now it's like boom we're back to reality you know um people buy anything these days it's true i mean like it's very very true and that's why like the only thing that gets hype and that's what really comes down to it. It's like whatever is hype and goes for a lot of resale, people's going to be like, 
you know, people are going to show up, you know, like when we get big drops, like you get, we, we get like 1,000, 2,000 people watching us um, in those type of big drops. But then when it gets, you know, to a slower shoe where, you know, there's nothing that, you know, there's no resale to it. It's like everyone doesn't really care, you know, like I bet you during the pandemic, if these Jordan 4 Vivid Sulfurs were, were to drop, people would probably go bananas over them. They'd probably go like, they'll probably have like some crazy resale value and people would probably go for it dude like supreme air force ones and air force ones in general there was there was a market for that at some point like people are going bananas over supreme air force ones every single week when they were restocking or they were dropping every other tuesday i don't know if you guys remember that like People are going bananas over that because there was resale off of it, like regular dunks and all that stuff. It's crazy how like there was such a switch, uh, change into the community like so quick, just like that, you know. Uncle Chrissy, what up, dude? Top of the morning, kids. What up, Uncle Chrissy? Good morning. Um, uh, people need uh, uh, shoes that resell. Look at the uh, economy. Facts. I'm married to designer. Big facts. You're not wrong, man. It's a it's a bigger picture. Than just sneakers, you know, they drop uh, Supreme Air Force One twice a week. Fact, and dude, they flew. They were flying. The fours have been uh, aged uh, midsole, right? Hard to tell. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see. No, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. No, 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 it doesn't. Oh, maybe a little bit. Maybe on the uh, on the heel. Maybe a little bit. Uh, Premier Air Force Ones were like five hundred dollars at some point. Exactly. I mean, that was the time where like. You know, Uncle Chrissy, I'm sure you were around for it. Um, whenever, like, uh, you know, Nike apps were doing, like, shock drops, like, random restocks on the uh, Nike app. And, like, people were going bananas off of that. Remember that one dunk that I mentioned that I still have in my sneaker collection was the Navy Blue Dunk Lows. It was the woman's exclusive, and they only dropped, like, 200 pairs of them. And they never, actually, they never popped up again. Actually, I no, no, no. Last year, they popped up, but it was, like, a shiny... Um, it was a like shiny navy blue look to it. Um, this was different. It was like an EU exclusive, I believe. And then they only dropped like 200 in the US. It was like a woman's exclusive dunk low midnight navy blue dunk. And that never appeared to drop anywhere else except the Nike app. 200 pairs here in the US. And they came out with like something similar to it last year, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything the same. Well, yeah, the vintage navy blue. It, they dropped like two, three hundred pairs on the Nike app, and it never came out. It officially never came out. Um, later, uh, later that year or the next following year, and now, like there was none, and there was something similar just like last year, but it wasn't the same. Um, go bananas because they are yellow. Clever Raph. Yeah, I right, Orlando. Uh, I'm just here to support a fellow Filipino. King James says, I appreciate that. Yeah, I like them too. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's just crazy, man. Just because like. I feel like that is what really brought a lot of people in the sneaker community um, during the pandemic because there was a lot of money to make in sneakers. Like, you know what I mean? There's a lot of money to make around sneakers. And now it's just like no one's really interested in it because there's no there's no resale. And that comes down to it. It was never really well. The resale was really there. Like resale was there. I mean, you go to like sneaker cons. Like I was going to sneaker cons back in 2019, uh, 2018 and stuff like that. And like, of course, there was always going to be, you know, resale. But the resale side of sneakers weren't really as big as it it is now. You know, it's it's a lot different than how it is now. Uh, good morning, collection fam. Familia. What up, Iggy? What's good, man? Shout out my boy Iggy in the building. What's good, bro? Uh, Yellow Force can replace my Black Thunder's uh, retro uh, 14s. There you go. Uh, Big Brown, what up, dude? Where ends EA? Exclusive access is going to go down today on Finish Line and uh, JD Sports. All right. Um, Jordan 4s don't release. Uh, resell at uh, $400 anymore. But uh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Jordan 4 don't resell at 400 anymore out the gate. Yeah, they don't really don't, man. They really don't. Jordan 1s at some point were going for like three, four hundred dollars every single almost every single drop. Like uh mochas, uh what whatever whatever Jordan ones were dropping in 2019 and, and and earlier, like they were all going for so much bread. Shadow backboards, like I mean, there's a lot of Jordan 1 highs that were going for so much freaking money, man. Even regular GRs, um, they were going for a lot. Um 
even when some of the Jordan ones that we mentioned before, like how they were, they still go for like three fifty, four hundred dollars. Uh, morning wrap. What I missed. What up, Francisco? Nothing. We're just yapping until the EA starts here. It's gonna uh, go live in about twenty minutes. Uh, if you're wanting the vivid sulfurs, uh, those are gonna be going live at, on Finish Line and JD Sports. Yeah, Hyper Royals, dude. Imagine if Hyper Royals dropped it. Like, listen. Imagine if Hyper Royals dropped in twenty twenty four. Okay, it wouldn't it wouldn't get as hype as as what people would expect. Okay, hyper royals. Uh, what else? I I mentioned the uh, shadow backboards like three point If those drop, even the shadow backboards two point I bet you those weren't even wouldn't even do much in the resale market if they dropped in twenty twenty four. We're just in a dude. I'm telling you, we're just in a different like just in a different community, dude. Like it's just it's weird. It's so weird. How things could just shift. Uh, I'm still in the need for lobsters. I can't believe at one point I was about to pay a stack for them, Trek says. They don't even go for much. The, uh, or you talk about the orange lobsters? I think they go for like 350 in my size. Um, do you think there's a hype for uh, for the upcoming bread toes? You know what? I think there's going to be... Uh, there's going to... Listen. I think there's going to be more hype around the, uh, the Black Cement Jordan 3s than the Black Toes. You, I don't know if you guys want to disagree or agree with me, but I personally think there's going to be more hype around the black cement Jordan 3s than the black toes or the bread. Was it bread toes? Black toes? Bread toes? The bread toes. There's going to be more hype around the black cement Jordan 3s than the bread toes, in my personal opinion. Why do I say that? Because since the Jordan 3 is not a reimagine, that's why people would probably get excited about it more than the breads uh bread toes black toes whatever you guys want to call them um that's that's just my saying if it was like the other way around sure um but since the uh since they already announced the black cement threes are only coming out in just the regular form then i think there's going to be a little bit more hype around it so uh morning raff and collection fan what up breezy smalls what's good i think both will do well it's uh the black toe i mean yeah of course both are going to do extremely 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 well but I still think Black Cement 3s. Maybe because I'm biased. <laughs> Maybe because I'm biased because I like the Black Cement Jordan 3s a little bit better. But, I mean, both of them are going to do extremely well in the winter. Uh, yeah, Black Cement 3s is going to bring everyone out. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I think Black Toes is uh, still going to uh, hype, uh, be the hype uh, one in a minute. Hype is in a minute. Yeah, sure. Just because there's not many Jordan 1 highs that people get hyped throughout the year. You know, the, obviously they'll drop like Jordan 3s, you know, throughout the year of 2024. Um, but like when it comes to like Jordan 1s, it's just like everyone's just over Jordan 1s. But when they see something that is like that has somewhat history and like, you know, you know, you know, you know, one of their favorite, you know, Jordan's colorways, you know, growing up sure like i i think i could see uh the jordan one's bread toes do extremely well uh super what up dude thank you so much for the 21 month re-up man thank you so much shout out my boy super for the 21 month re-up my guy thank you so much my guy thank you thank you thank you um uh what's good for today rap what up francis uh we got the uh, jordan 4 vivid soul for uh drop in on the uh, finish line and JD Sports exclusive access at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So about roughly 15 minutes. KB, what up, dude? Good morning. Uh, black, dude, I'm so upset that they are pushing back the Black Cat Jordan 3s. That that was kind of that was kind of disappointing, man. That was kind of disappointing. That was kind of disappointing that they are pushing that shoe back, man. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like I was hoping that the blacks, uh, the black cats were gonna drop this year, but since they're holding it back for next year, I'm like, whatever, it's all good. That's probably why they they pulled it back because you know what? They have like the black cement Jordan threes dropping this winter, so they're like, F it, let's go ahead and push these uh, black cat threes until next year, and then drop these black cement threes. I'm not mad about it, but still, it'd be nice to see the black cat threes to come back. Uh, you like these Raph? Uh, I'm not a big fan of them, Soul, to be honest. Uh, Raph, uh, people are gonna cop those black toes, uh, once they, uh, see the sample shoe, if it was, uh, designed from. Sure, I mean, look, I think the, uh, I think the bread toes are still, they're gonna be, uh, black toes, bread toes, whatever you want to call them. They're, they're gonna sell out. Absolutely sell out. It don't matter how many pairs that they're gonna drop, I think it's gonna be a seller. Uh, facts, I wanted the, uh, black cat threes over the black cement threes. Really? I me personally, I rather have the black cement Jordan threes over the black cats. That's just me. Um, you really can't go wrong with that Jordan three. That's probably 
that's uh, probably the best Jordan 3 of all time, I would say. Uh, one of them, other than the white cement Jordan 3s. I mean, we could we could have a debate, but still, that's got to be one of the best. Uh, one of the best Jordan 3 colorways to come out, ever come out. Push back uh, until after uh, GTA 6 comes out. Oh, gosh. GTA 6 is going to be a, like, uh, dude, a GTA 6 is going to be a game that's going to be a, a get everybody hyped over. Like, it, it's going to, listen... It's going to have its shine, and then it's just going to die down within, like, the year. Like, that's just how it goes with video games sometimes. I mean, that's like the same thing with, like, when the OG Fortnite came out again. It's like, oh, well, everyone gets all excited. OG oh, Map is back, and then stuff like that. And then, like, and then it's all of a sudden everyone just over it. I'm uh, glad I got my uh, Black Cement 3s a couple weeks ago, and I don't want to uh, worry about this year's uh, release will look, uh, will look like. Yeah, you know what? I think when it comes to the reimagined stuff and like, you know, them coming out with like the, the OG Jordan colorways, Jordan brand and Nike, please stop with the age midsole, man. I, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I'd rather get sell laces on my sneakers than just getting aged midsoles like all freaking all freaking month, dude. I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but it's just like, bro, I'm tired of like this aged midsole BS. It just doesn't look good. Like. I, I'm not sure if the age midsole is official still. I don't know if it is or not. Um, someone could correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't know about you guys, but the the age midsole just doesn't, it, dude. It, it just does not look good on the black cement Jordan Three. Doesn't. I I just hate it. It looks good with the white cement Jordan Three. Like it just not a big fan of the um, age midsole on the black cement Jordan Three. Doesn't look good. Um, no, nah, this GTA 6 will talk be uh talking about no other game will be uh talked about for years. I, I mean, I guess I mean listen, I I think GTA 6 is gonna have its hype. Like, I don't know if it's gonna live up to the hype uh when it, it you know for like you know the entire year is what I'm talking about. Like it's gonna have its shine for maybe a month maybe a month and then everyone's just gonna move on to uh, the the games that they were originally playing i mean don't get me wrong i'm gonna give it a shot i haven't played gta gta in general and like dude it's been a long time like it's been a free i don't even yeah the last i think the last time i played gta was like 2000 like like maybe 2012 13 i think it's been a long time um Let's see, uh, I'm ready for GTA 6, uh, Asia says. I'm sure a lot of people are, man. I'm sure a lot of people are. I, I promise you, that's just how video games work. It, 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 trust me, like, that's how video games work. It, it's going to get hyped, all right? GTA 6 is a very, listen, it's going to be a very, very popular game. I, I'm not saying that it's not. There's going to be a ton of people who are going to be playing it when it comes out. But I'm saying, like, it's going to be, it's it's like any other, like, video game, you know what I mean? It gets hot if, it, if, it, if everyone's excited about it. People play it for, like, a month or two, and then they just, they're just over it. Mostly the people that haven't played GTA 6 for a long time, they're just going to get over it within a couple, like, a couple months. And then they just move on to the original games they were just playing. Um... Uh, let's see. I don't know about that. The last one has lasted. Listen, Nathan, that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. It's it's what I'm trying to say. It's not I'm not saying that it's not going to be popular. There's going to be a ton of people playing this uh, playing the game. A lot of people are. But I'm talking about when it first drops, everyone's going to play it for like a month or two. Mostly the people that haven't played GTA six in a long or GTA in a while. And they're just going to get over it. Um um let's see uh, bro what are you smoking this morning it's gta uh, listen uh, listen i'm not smoking on anything it's it, well we'll see when it comes out dude i promise you people are gonna get over it within like a month or two <laughs> i don't think you get you some of you guys are getting my drift i don't think some of you guys are getting my drift it's gonna be very very popular it's going to be very, very popular when it comes out. But I'm telling you, there's going to be some people that haven't played GTA in a long time. They're just going to be over it within a month or two. I promise you guys. You guys think I'm capping. I rap you again, a gamer. I play video games all the time. I just don't stream it. Um, I played GTA 6, the, uh, GTA the other day. See, you guys are not getting my drift, man. You guys are not, Some of you guys are not getting the drift, man. Uh, more hype for uh, NCAA Football 25. <laughs> You know what I'm kind of tired of? Like, well, not really tired of. I don't really mind it when there's a new Call of Duty every single year. 
Um, let's see. Uh, you guys don't understand. He's saying that people that uh, that don't play GTA GTA won't be playing GTA Six after a month or so. That people that uh, live GTA will stay play. Thank you, Chaos. It's exactly what I'm trying to say, man. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Exactly what I'm trying to say is that the people that that been playing GTA are going to be playing it however long they want to. But I'm telling you, the people that haven't played GTA in a long time, it's going to last them for like two two months max and they're gonna that's people are they're gonna get over it i promise you guys i got you people will play it still but then the hype of waiting will uh will be for uh for something else i promise you that man i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you like the people that haven't played gta in a long time are only gonna play it for a couple months yeah exactly i'm talking about the casuals right that's exactly what i was trying to say it's, it's the casuals that are going to overhype the game. Oh, I'm so excited for GTA 6. It's going to be like the game of the year. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but the people like some of you guys that play GTA 6 on the on the on the daily basis are going to be playing it for like however long. <clears throat> Isn't that true about dude? I'm it is very true when it comes to any other video game, Wes. But specifically for GTA 6, it's like that game is gonna be super, super hype, man. I don't know. It's gonna be everyone's gonna be talking about it. Everybody's gonna be talking about it. Even when the trailer even like came out, everyone was talking about the trailer. Like <laughs> uh true, that's literally any game. Yeah. Um Collection fam on GTA 6 will be uh fire. Yeah, dude, it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a, like I said, I haven't played GTA since like 2013, I think. Um Let's see. Uh, your dad is going to be playing uh, the game Let's Be For Real now. No, my dad doesn't even play video games like that. Um Let's see. Uh the hype is not going to fall off. All right. We're going to be on stream talking about uh, GTA 6. A lot of people are, man. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my god, I'm so excited for the game. I'm not because I haven't played that shit in a long time. Um, I'm going to get a PS5 just to play GTA 6. Okay. I think it's. I don't think it's going to be available on PC, right? It's only going to be like, uh, you know, like a PS5 or Xbox, like the newest ones. I think that's the only way they can uh, be able to play it, I believe. I don't think you, uh, I don't know if it's going to be available for PC. I don't know. I'm sure eventually it will, but I don't think when it, when it first comes out, I don't think it's going to be available for PC. Uh, but I may be wrong though. I may be wrong. Uh, even YouTubers uh, will have uh, so many videos on GTA 6, like 2013, because it's all content, Dexter. It's all content. Like, if you really like, it doesn't matter what you know category you are uh, of content that you do on YouTube. If it's like trending and that's what everyone's doing, that is what everyone's gonna do. Like, based off their uh, content off off that video game, or you know whatever is hype and uh, trending. You know, um. Do people not make GTA 6 videos anymore? Like uh, right now, we could see someone live streaming GTA 6. Um, not specifically GTA 6, but I'm pretty sure GTA in general. Uh, that, like Twitch, I'm sure there's a ton of people that are playing GTA right now. PC, eventually, the issue is people are uh, able to uh, mod too easy on PC. Yeah, I'm going to call out of work to play it on release day. There you go. Um... Let's see, uh, bro, they already talking about uh, PS6 uh, and still have a 4. <laughs> Dude, I was so close to buying the the the, uh, the PlayStation. What, what PlayStation is that? The PlayStation 6 or PlayStation 5? What are they calling it right now? I don't even know, dude, because I use PC. Like, let me, don't get me wrong, bro. Like... I was one of those I was one of those people at some point that I was like, nah, nah, I'd rather have Xbox because all my friends are having Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to have growing up, I used to play Nintendo and 64. I had no, I never had a GameCube, never had a GameCube. My my neighbor had one. Uh, but growing up, I used to have a PS, PS2, PS1. Um, and then when I moved to Washington, my uncle ended up getting me an Xbox 360. So, and then when I jumped on Xbox, because all my other friends were on Xbox, so it was perfect. But 
there was always that competition between like PS5 uh, or, or Xbox One or uh, Xbox 360, whatever. So, but now that like, like, after like you know obviously you know years went by you know when fortnite you, you know first came out originally came out right everyone was like using pc and like i was like man i i can never see myself with mouse and keyboard um right but then when i first got my pc now i understand now i'm not i still don't use my mouse and keyboard but i use my xbox i just connect my xbox remote into my computer but i understand why people went to pc so it makes a lot of sense now that I have one. Because I was like, man, I don't know if I'm going to get a PC, da 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 this, and da 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 you know, the yap and blah, 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 about PC, Xbox, and PS5. But now that I have one, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I had both uh, new consoles and sold them. Dual PC setups now. Okay, there we go. I mean, that's the same thing. I got two monitors right here. I kind of want a third one. Uh, but, I mean, it is nice that you can kind of multitask with different monitors on your screen. Um, like on this side, I have the chat, I have my OBS, and then on this side is whatever you see on my screen. Uh, Xbox is uh, uh, is downhill. I mean, it just depends. Like, honestly, it doesn't really, it's not that it's like dying like or and stuff like that. It's like whatever your friends have. I mean, that's what comes really comes down to it. You know, at some point, like it, it's whatever your friends have. It's all your, if you're, all your friends are playing on PS, you know, PlayStation, then you're going to jump on PlayStation. Uh, if all your friends are on Xbox, you're going to jump on Xbox. You know, it doesn't matter in my personal opinion, as long as whatever your friends play. But now that nowadays you could like cross the, you know, cross platform, um, cross play with, uh, with PC, Xbox and, and PlayStation nowadays. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I have three monitors. Okay, there you go. Straight to toe. Uh, you have three monitors. Um, I still got PS uh, a PS2. Asia says, dude, the PS1. Like when I when I got a PS1 for uh uh for as a gift from one of my aunts, um when I was uh when I was younger, my dad did not want to get me he couldn't afford my dad couldn't afford a um a memory card you know how like ps1s used to have memory cards with them my dad couldn't afford a memory card so i was playing like this spongebob movie game and i i, I, I was so eager to beat the game let me tell you guys something i never beat the game right i never beat it um and so what I would do, I would leave my PlayStation on overnight. I would get in trouble, dude, because my dad, like, I would have to cover it with a blanket because, like, he would see the light turn on when he walks in my room to wake me up for school. And then he would get mad at me. And he would, while I was sleeping, he would turn off the PlayStation. And I would wake up, and I'm just like, dude, I would, I would be in an emotional wreck. <laughs> I'd be in an emotional wreck because my dad would turn off my PlayStation. And I'm like... I don't have a memory card. So every time you turn the PlayStation off, I have to start the game over. <laughs> I'd be like at the last level, bro. I'd be at the last level. My dad turns the PlayStation off and I have no memory card. Uh, cues up. Cues up. Bro, I'll be pissed. <laughs> My dad couldn't afford a, he, he didn't, it's either that he didn't want to buy one or he couldn't afford one, but he told me he couldn't afford one. So I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, bro, same. <laughs> uh, good morning, Kino. What's good? Dude, I would start all over, dude. That shit sucked. You know how shitty that was starting over from scratch from a video game that you don't have a memory card for? Dude, that sucks, dude. Uh, young Brandon, what up, dude? Al Chang in the villain, what's good? Still have a working Xbox 360 with no red, uh, red ring or death. There you go. I remember, dude, I don't know if, like, the PlayStations or Xbox still do it, but I remember, like, I would lay my 360, uh, my Xbox 360 flat, and then, like, you put the CD in, right? And then if you flip it, uh, vertically, dude, the, you could hear, like, <laughs> like the, the, the freaking disc getting scratched up. I'm like, oh, man. And my CDs would get cooked, bro. What up, Jake B? What up, dude? Your props knew what he was doing. Yeah, he definitely knew what he was doing, bro. He definitely knew what he was doing. But have you guys ever been in that situation? I don't know if you guys have, but I have all the time. I used to mess up all my video games just because I would, like, 
try to flip it vertically and then my CDs would all get scratched up and they would be cooked. I don't know if you guys ever been in that situation before, but I've I've destroyed maybe like three like three of my discs um by doing that. Great AK, what up dude? Hey Raf, check Discord, tell me what you think about the Victor L Depot new shoe. Um let me when be uh let me see. Oh, Victor Wembiyama. Sorry, I totally like just my bad. Victor Wembiyama. This is his signature shoe. Is this really his shoe? What is this? Pop struggling to make ends uh, ends me and Raffy up running up the uh, electric bills. What up, Raff? What up, Hector? What's good? I remember putting toothpaste on 360 discs, hoping it will work again. <laughs> Dude, even on my Nintendo 64, like uh, on the old Nintendos, where like you would get like the uh, the video game and you blow it, you'd be like, <laughs> like you would like slam it down. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I used to do that shit all the time. Um, they kind of look like LeBron Lowe's. They could have they kind of look like LeBron's, to be honest. Dude, Wemby is the future, dude. I don't care what anyone says, man. Wemby, uh Victor Wemby Yama, dude, he's a hooper, man. Like, just wait. Just wait until Wemby gets some weight on him. Oh my goodness. Like, he's only going to get better. I, I'm sorry. When, uh, Victor Wembyama, he's all he's all, he's only gonna get better, man. He's only going to get better. And I'm actually I'm hoping and praying that uh he stays healthy throughout his entire career because I just know that he's gonna be really, really good. Really, really good in the next couple years. When he puts on weight and some muscle, like he's gonna be uh he's gonna be fun to watch, man. Um what up, Rahus? What's good, man? Real question. Y'all used to screen uh, hop when uh, playing video games uh, with your siblings? Oh, gosh. I remember when uh, me and my cousins were playing Halo Halo 2, and then we used to uh, connect the uh, the Xbox uh, uh, the Xbox uh, Xboxes together and different TVs. We used to do that shit. I'm surprised Wemby um, hasn't been introduced to a church yet in San Antonio. Uh, never tries to pronounce his last name again, Raph. Hey, Wemby Yama. <laughs> Wemby, we're gonna, gonna be his best in the leagues in two years. Yeah, he's gonna be good, man. Uh, I got EA and ignored. Let me see if I got a notification. No notification for me, man. I'm telling you, my account is cooked. Let me, let me sign in if I got EA. I gotta spend money, bro. Like, I need to, I need to buy a pair of socks or something to get my account going. No EA? Did anyone get EA? Unless uh, your finish line in JD Spores are going to do like first come first serve on release day. Uh, let me see chat. Uh, status. Uh, status, status. Choose your rewards. Um, he wore them last night. Uh, game against Denver. Almost got his uh, uh, quadruple uh, double. Yeah, he played well yesterday. He got like he got uh the homie Rob like uh 95 fantasy points on uh NBA fantasy. Oh, I got EA. Wow, I got EA chat. Let's go. Am I excited? No. <laughs> Why do I dude? That's crazy. Size 11 sold out. Look, they only go up to a size 11. Wow, they gave me EA chat. Wow, out of all shoes, they gave me EA. Out of all shoes, they gave me EA, chat. That is insane. Out of all shoes, they gave me EA for these. That's, that's man, come on, man. Morning, uh, what up, Davey, what up, dude? I need EA, like, uh, I like yellow a lot. There you go, Evan Wilson, no EA for me. Yo, Rav, did you ever get the, uh, those wives, those new balances? No, she wants to try them on first, Drex. I mean, excuse me, uh, Jamie. She wants to try them on first. 
<laughs> Shovel Boy Rob for the two. He says, Wemby, next generation talent, bro. Been a great matchup. Shovel Boy Rob Vicious for the two dollar donation, my guy. There's Rob. There you go. Gil Cushy. There's Rob. <laughs> Rob Vicious, Wemby, yo, yo, Kishi, that's, that's what Rob's been saying, yo, Wemby, man, next generation talent, bro, <laughs> yo, Rob, I hope you win this, uh, I hope you win this, um, what's it called, I hope you win this fantasy league, you need this W more than I do, I'm telling you, you know what I told, so, since I'm in the finals, uh, in the NBA fantasy, uh, finals with Rob, I told him, I was like, yo, Rob, and I told everybody else, I was like, listen, if I win, no one has to pay. Like I said, if I win, no one has to pay. When be it's next like a, generation talent, been a great matchup. It's a, it's a $10 buy-in. Um, but I told Rob and I told everybody else, if I win the fantasy league, I, 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 no one needs to pay. But obviously if Rob wins, he, he's going to, he's, we're going to, they're, they're going to pay up. So, um, I never fall, uh. Phil uh, falls you uh, always get EA. Um, I never fell. You always get EA on shoes you don't want. I know facts, dude. It always does that. I don't know why. Every time. Every time, dude. Rob lives for fantasy. Cushy, dude. We said that like we were going to add you to fantasy basketball next year. And Rob was just like, man, I got to beat Cushy next year, man. We're, we're going to have all this competition next year, man. <laughs> we... <laughs> Yo, he wants to be you on fantasy basketball so bad, Kushi. It's so funny. Even any fantasy football, fantasy basketball. Yo, Rob Vicious is want he dude. He's going after your neck, dude. Next year. <laughs> um, I like these. It's giving yellow Ranger. It's not a bad shoe. I mean, if you need a yellow sneaker, this would be a perfect. A perfect yellow shoe, mostly for the spring and summer. Like, this is really not a bad shoe. You just got to put the outfit together, you know? I'm coming also. Yeah, Conrad, Tony, hopefully G-Face could join us next year. And then we have Cushy Souls, I believe, that's going to be joining. So that is the three people that's going to maybe, maybe Snowbird, if you want to join. It depends. It, it, it depends who ends up leaving our league next year. But we're booting Parham. We're booting Pete. And we're booting uh, Pat. Those are the three people that did not try this year. Because <laughs> people end up giving up towards the end of the season or like midway in the season. Like Pete gave up like in the fifth week of uh, the season. So I was like, man, we need to find people that actually will try throughout the entire season. So um, everybody else tried. Frosty freaking tried. I couldn't even believe it. He was really trying. <laughs> um. Lost a close one against Cushy by 0 0.50. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, Cushy, he's not going to stop thinking about that. <laughs> he's uh, he's super competitive, which is not bad, man. It's not bad to have people that are competitive um, in the sports, dude. It's always fun. Mostly in NFL uh, fantasy. It's always fun. Uh, Rafi, I need in. Casey says, we only have like three, four spots open, and most of them are basically filled uh, for NBA because we only keep it with 10 people. Uh, that's what we're keeping it with, uh, 10 people. Raf, uh, Rob, you listened to, uh, someone on Discord and it backfired. Yeah. Just let me know, bro. I got you, Snowbird, for sure. I got you, man. I got you. We appreciate you. Uh, but make sure you guys run it up if you guys don't mind. If you're ghost watching, make sure you guys smash that like button. Uh, let us know in the chat if you guys are going for these Jordan 4s, man. I know, I think, uh, you know, the next hype drop is probably going to be Kobe's uh, next week. And I think that's what everyone's going to be excited for. Right now, No, no, not many people are excited about sneakers right now, man. Everyone's staying away from sneakers right now. It's just crazy how everyone's staying away from sneakers right now. Um, but make sure you guys run it up. If you're a ghost watch and let it be known in the chat, man. All right. Let it be known in the chat. Passing on the Kobe's. Uh, John DC says, yeah, I'm definitely not passing on one of those Kobe's. I'm passing on like maybe two of the Kobe's, but I'm definitely going for the, uh, one of the Kobe's, uh, that are going to be dropping. So I'm extremely excited about it. No EA for me. Uh, Kai says, yo, so if you don't get exclusive access, listen, if you don't get EA and if you're hoping to get exclusive access, just know you could probably try to contact your finish line and JD sports to see what's going on. Because sometimes on JD sports and finish line, um, your stores may be doing in-store raffles or first come first serve. So you, you may should contact them, um, to see what they're doing. 
Um, let's see. Everyone waiting for the military blue force. Exactly. That's probably what the what's going on. What up, Eli? Good morning, dude. Jay Bay's in the building. What's good? Bebo in the building. What's good? Uh, appreciate you guys all like ghost watching this morning. JM, what up, man? Just need Kobe's. Don't care for anything else. Yeah. Hookah, what up, dude? Not uh for not on. Um uh John um wait, what? Wait, what? What did you say? Passing uh, for Kobe's. I mean, that's what you said, right? Um, let's see. But shout out all my ghost watches in the building. Did you change your your store, Raf? Did you change your store? What do you mean? Did I change my store? No, I didn't change my store. What up, Jazzy? What's good? I don't have a store. What are you talking about? Who needs the uh, Who needs these fours? I think these fours might sit respectfully. Hold on, let me refresh real quick. I think these fours might sit at my store. I'm going to refresh real quick, chat. I'm going to see how many uh, pairs are still left. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're all still sitting except a size 11. Size 11 is the only one that sold out. Size 11. Every other size is, uh, is uh, still available. Just know that this is a woman's shoe. So don't remember the sizing. Uh, Jazzy, what up, Jazzy? Good morning, Jazzy. Appreciate you tapping in. I appreciate that angel in the building. What's good? Appreciate you guys tapping in as always. Um, but like I said earlier too, um, JD Sports EA pre-order is going to be tomorrow. Um, if you didn't get in-store EA tomorrow, all right? When are you opening your store? What are you guys talking about? I I'm not opening up a store. What are you talking about? Now I need vertical back. Forgot what others think. Uh forget what other th uh, everybody think ralph says you like vertical these are going to be sitting everywhere this weekend i think so too i think everyone's just kind of over sneakers until like until other uh maybe sbs end up dropping i don't know i don't know what's going to excite everybody uh, when it comes to drops uh jose says my grandpa passed away today oh dude jose i'm sorry for your loss my guy so sorry our pete's your your grandfather man that that sucks man so sorry so that's my boy Jose in the building, man. Sorry that your grandfather passed away today, my guy. Um, oh, for merch, um, man, I, I I'm trying to hopefully get merch uh, dropping in May. That's what I'm hoping for. That is what I'm hoping for. Mar uh, May is we're hoping to drop some merch. Uh, smooth, what up, dude? What's good, man? SB seems like uh, they're mailing uh, they're mailing it in this uh, in this year, dude. Uncle Chrissy, the fact that you mentioned that there's only 50,000 stock numbers um, on these SBs dropping, you know, I was saying to everybody else is that I thought like, um, I personally thought that the dunk lows, these were going to be more widely available. Only 50,000 pairs are going to be dropping. Are you guys talking about like the, uh, the 50,000, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the store that you're talking about because, uh. I think that you guys may be talking about this because uh, what's it called? Sneaker Expo Hold on Sneaker Expo posted. Sneaker Expo posted that I was going to be a special guest in, uh, in, the, in, in the next show upcoming May into Seattle. Right. And it's so funny how they put it in the description. It says one in the the one and only Rafi Clex will be in the building selling some rare pairs. <laughs> I don't know why they said that. Chat, that could be it. And someone in the comments was like, who said it? Someone in the comments was like, selling pairs ain't selling his collection. <laughs> he ain't selling his collection. I don't know why they said that. The one and only Rapid Clex will be in the building selling some rare pairs. Dude. I'm not selling anything. The thing is, I, they probably thought I, because I, I, I told them I was like, I'm gonna have one of my, uh, one of my close homies, uh, Queso is gonna be in my booth with me, so he's gonna be, um, he's gonna be selling shoes, I, and I'm gonna be selling merch. So like, he's gonna bring his shoes, and then I'm selling merch, but I'm not selling any sneakers. So. Um, I, I was like, that's why like people are like, yo, well, you're selling your shoes. I was like, nah, dude. Like, no, 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 no. Because uh, Sneaker Expo is supposed to give me like a 10 by 10 by 10 booth. So it's going to be a pretty solid booth that they're going to give me. 
Um, so it should be cool. So if anybody's in, C in the Seattle area, uh, come by my booth, uh, say what's up, get some merch. Uh, if you haven't, if you're in the Seattle area, um, it should be fun. I'm extremely excited for this event, man. I'm extremely excited. Sneaker Expo is coming out to Seattle for the first time, um, uh, which is obviously the hometown. So I'm extremely excited for this event. Um, I'm huge in Pokemon. Um, I'm bringing all my Pokemon cards. Probably going to start maybe trading for some uh, for some packs, man. So it's going to be fun. Uh, Rafi going to be uh, dropping Vivid Sulfurs at the Expo. Yeah, for retail. <laughs> for retail. Hey, anybody want some Vivid Sulfurs for retail? I got you. All right, kissing booth. All right, relax. All right, relax. Um, so I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. We went to San Diego. Uh, they flew me out to San Diego. I went to San Francisco last year. Um, it was really, really fun, and I'm extremely excited about it too. I don't really care about the whole like sneaker side of it, dude. The anime side is so much is so much cooler. Uh, media, thank you so much for the two. Uh, heard you got mystery boxes. Yeah. Mystery boxes, 300 bucks. Y'all want mystery boxes? I got you 300 bucks. A chance to win a pair of Panda Dunk Glows. Uh, Rafi looks like JMK in that picture. I definitely don't look nothing like JMK. Uh, Japan got a drop of SB uh, Chicago's. Hope they drop more so prices drop on them to cop. Exactly. You're talking about the J Packs, man. We just talked about the J Packs yesterday. We talked about the J-Packs yesterday, dude. I hope the J-Packs... I just... Dude, I'm praying. I'm praying and hoping the J-Packs drop here in the U.S., dude. Collect your family mystery boxes. I'll be there because she still says, yeah. Somebody say Pokemon. I'm there. Yo, King James, you should make that drive. Dude, King James, I know I know you're a little, little far from Seattle, but dude, I think you will enjoy Sneaker Expo, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Mostly the fact that you love Pokemon and stuff like that. They're going to have a collector's... Um, Heard you got mystery boxes. Um, Shadow Boy Media, once again, for the $2 donation, man. I appreciate that. They have, like, a collector's... Uh, they're going to have a huge collector's uh, side of it um, in, in this event. Like, there's going to be a lot of, like, Pokemon slabs. Uh, whole, probably one pieces and stuff like that. But I think anybody that's into, like, you know, trading cards, whether if it's sports, Pokemon, or, you know um one piece is definitely gonna be worth going for sure uh you getting the um sms uh pokemon t the street market supply i don't know i gotta show i gotta check my mailbox because sometimes street market supply likes to send me uh, like a care package um uh time to time and they wouldn't even tell me if they sent me anything so i have to check my mailbox but i did see that uh street market supply uh, what's it called? I know Street Market Supply is dropping new tees this week, and they're dropping that Pokemon T-shirt this week. I, dude, I want that Pokemon T-shirt. I, I want that Pokemon T-shirt so bad because I, this would be the T-shirt I'd wear to Sneaker Expo. Dead ass. This is like a perfect Pokemon T-shirt. I'd make it just for you, King James says. I appreciate that, King James. I appreciate that, King James. Um, King James, if I could get a uh, if I could get a uh, a ticket for you, um, I'll try. I, I think I, I I think I might. I think I could uh, you know pull some strings to get you uh, to get you in. But dude, this T man, this is actually pretty sick. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta check my mailbox. Hopefully they do. They send that one over. That'd be cool. I'm gonna fight someone if I can't get the, that T-shirt. I need it. You really can't go wrong, dude. That street market supply with Pokemon. I can't believe they're. Are they even allowed to do that? I mean, I'm sure they got Drake's face on like, and like different like artists on their on their T-shirts. So I, I I don't think it matters if they just put on Pokemon in there. Uh, let me park my car on your booth. I'll, I'll drive up. Media says <laughs> the event is near my birthday, May 12th. Yeah, the, the event is on what May 18th and the 19th, I believe. So, what up, Paulo? Good morning, my guy. Uh, good morning. 
Pokemon New Jeans and uh, Drake Tees this, uh, for this drop? Okay. Yeah, I don't care for the Drake one and the New Jeans. All I care is about that Pokemon one. Because I already have uh, I already have a couple Drake Tees from Street Market Supply. But that Pokemon is, like, essential. Like, I kind of need that one, man. And it's a really nice one, too. Uh, good morning, Raffi and Collection Fam. What up, Alexis? Good morning. All right. Who put on Pokemon, Paulo says. Dude, I, I need to I need to open more packs, man. I, I've been itching. I've been itching to open up some new packs. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like I've been itching to open up some new packs. I've been wanting to open some new Pokemon packs lately, and I might have to open up uh, I might have to bring back the Pokemon channel here soon. Today is the 30th anniversary for Supreme, Paulo says. Uh we have, oh yeah, Supreme's dropping tomorrow, dude. I haven't even looked what it's gonna be dropping for the Supreme. I did not look what was going to be dropping for Supreme. Uh, nope, no EA. I'll get them at the Snipes if I really need them. There you go. Yeah, I, they're sitting. They're, these are definitely going to sit this weekend. Where is this Pokemon um, uh, Pokemon shirt at? Uh, it's called Street Market Supply. I'll send you the link. Uh, this is the T right here. Right? That's Street Market Supply. They're going to be dropping their T-shirt. I believe they're dropping on Friday at 9 a.m. So 12 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. They're going to be dropping these tees. So if you're interested in it, um, these are going to be dropping. There's like three different T-shirts. There's a Drake T-shirt. Um, there's a New Jeans T-shirt and the Pokemon T-shirt that's going to be dropping this Friday. So if you're interested in it, they're going to be dropping this Friday. So... We need that Pokemon channel again. Facts, Dirty Bird. Uh, what are those dunks dropping? Which dunks? You talking about these ones? Uh, these dunks are dropping April 17th. They have not yet loaded on the Nike sneakers app yet, and they probably will soon. Um, I think a lot of shoes are probably going to get loaded in the next week or so, uh, especially the Kobe's. I think the Kobe's should get loaded up very, very soon because the Kobe's uh, Venice Beaches are dropping next week, Saturday. So I'm expecting that shoe to drop probably later this week. I wouldn't be surprised. So just wait on for that one. Uh, no way they're doing that. Yeah, they are 100% doing a Pokemon shirt, dude. I'm on that. Yeah, it's a dope t-shirt. Um, kind of pricey, but I mean 70. I think they're what 70 bucks for the t-shirt. But man, I, I kind of want I kind of want to I kind of want a tee. Uh, if they don't send one over. Yo, Raph, I never uh, knew uh status points expire. That's whack. They do, unfortunately. So if you don't spend money at a certain time or uh, they will definitely take away points. Damn, my wife said to stop watching you because you're making me spend that money, Ralph says. Come on! Mrs. Martinez, come on, man. Hey. Hey, yo, Ralph, all I gotta say, my guy, treat yourself. All right? Treat yourself, Ralph. All right? 70 is crazy, not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, I mean, that is crazy. 70 bucks for a t-shirt is insane. I think, it, I think it is 70 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, man. I think so. So the the shirts are pretty pricey. They are pretty pricey for the uh, street market supply t-shirts. Uh, you gonna cop these raft? The fours probably not. Uh, probably not. I think the fours will probably sit on Saturday. Uh, these Booker ones, these Devin Bookers right here. I think these are gonna be a sellout on Saturday. A lot of people are going to want this this Saturday. This is going to be a sellout this weekend. Uh, does it say somewhere when points will expire? Payton, I don't know if it does. I don't know if it does. I don't know if it does. Ravi, a bad influence? Come on, man. The, uh, that's just greedy. People were complaining on the uh, on the 10 rays or so on the dunks. And then they want uh, 70 for a print t-shirt. Uh, Iris says, hey, man, you can't knock the hustle, my guy. All right. Hey, no one's forcing you to pay a price. That's all I got to say. You feel me? Like, even though, like, we complain, I mean, we all complain about, like, damn, these shoes are up at $210. But, like, yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying, like, you can't, you can't knock the grind. Uh, what is the stream about? Uh, we got exclusive access. If you're interested on these Jordan 4s, uh vivid sulfurs these jordan 4 vivid sulfurs are available if you guys want them um if you have ea she said if you provide me with coupon she'll consider <laughs> oh my gosh yeah provide but yeah coupon at rafi collects try that one uh what's happening with the pokemon uh stefan says uh we're just talking about pokemon cars pokemon t-shirts from street market supply ain't nothing biggie right ain't nothing biggie 
Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, Raph, it's be better for uh, to ask forgive than ask for permission. Yeah, facts. That's true. Amen to that, sir. <laughs> Amen to that. Dude, when I saw that Pokemon teaser from Street Market Supply, I was looking at my Pokemon cards just to look at them. Do you guys ever look at things just to look at it? I'm sure some of you guys look at your sneaker collection just to look at it. I feel like some of you guys do that. Like you have so many shoes and you're just bored and you just look at your sneakers. Do you guys ever do that? I just, it, it's not stupid, right? It doesn't sound stupid at all, but does anybody do that? Like you're just like, man, I just want to look at my sneaker collection real quick and just look at it. Do you guys ever do that? I did that to my Pokemon cards. I went to go open my Pokemon uh, book and I just went to go through all my Pokemon cards and uh, I went through it and just looking at it. Do you think they are really going to release Galaxy Phones this year? No one confirmed it, Brian. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if it is or not. What's uh, I always do, Paulo says. Okay. What's the deal, Raph? What up, Big Low? Good morning. Occasionally. Uh, street Market Supply is... Uh, yeah, the thing is, Delion, I think I've... I've already said this before when it comes to any graphic tees. It's like, I feel like it's definitely getting like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of dragging on a little bit. I, I look at my one piece cards a lot. King James says, there we go. Yeah. I want to see if my mids, uh, midsole has cracked. Oh gosh. Doing it right now. <laughs> Doing it right now. As we speak, Iggy says, yeah, I walk in my sneaker room and vibe out. There you go. All the time. Yeah. I grab a pair and set it next to me for the rest of the night randomly. Uh, I do that with my cars, uh, JS Mom says. How many cars do you even have, JS Mom? Like, how many cars do you got? You do that to your cars? You just go out and look at it? I'm not going to lie. I get my new spoiler in uh, on uh, on the 5th, dude. I'm excited. Dude, now that it's starting to get sunny and kind of warm here in the Pacific Northwest, like, I start buying car parts. I don't know what it is, but then I start to do, like, a lot of stuff around my car during this time, like, even in the summer. Like I'm, I finally got my spoiler coming in. Uh, I might, I might get some new wheels. I was considering it, uh, consider getting new wheels, but I'm not hundred percent sure. But like, for some reason, when it gets warm, I just want to work on my car. I got EA just, uh, just checked out. Now they go Dr. Shoe. Congrats, my guy. Hopefully you hit a personal pair. There you go. I have four cars just for you. JS mom, you, you have four cars just for you is what you're trying to say. I only got one. <laughs> it's a car see it's car season coming. Yeah, dude. Like I've just been wanting to work on my car. Um Corvette Corvette Bulldog says facts. Uh Galaxy Phone Posits postponed in 2025, I believe, but definitely not 24. Yeah. It hasn't really been talked about. Shout out my boy Al Chang. Uh when Rafi says it's gonna be uh sunny and warm, that's just like uh a week only. Paulo, you're not wrong. <laughs> Shout out boy Media for the $2 donation. It's a, he said it's a car show season. That's why. Dude, I don't know what it is, bro. I always tend to work on my car. Yo, Media, you got to hit me up because I'm trying to find some affordable um, coilovers for my car. I, I don't know what to look at, but I think I'm going to do some coils, uh, put coils on my car. So I need you to uh, hit me up to see what's more affordable because I don't want, you know, I, I'm a little, I'm kind of cheap. You know what I mean? When it comes to car stuff, man, I'm kind of cheap. All right. I try to make it as cheap as possible because it's uh, so much stuff like coilovers, like parts for your car. Dude, it gets expensive. So I'm like, man, I need your help. The most affordable, cheap coilovers. I know that's right. What up, Asia? My girl Asia in the building. Asia, are you not in school right now or what? Uh, what happened to your uh, Santa Fe? Did you trade that? No, we uh, the Santa Fe, we got rid of it. We got rid of our Santa Fe because it was like the thing is my situation didn't work out. Um, the way we, me and my the wife planned it, so we end up getting rid of it. So we only have the uh the the cord. You gonna Weckfest Seattle this year? We'll see, Vortiz. It's car show season. I think they're coming back. Why. Shout out boy media. Appreciate that. I might Vortiz. I might. I might. Order parts from uh, Team <laughs> Iggy says. Imagine you had a sports car. Cost more to mod. Yeah, dude. It's expensive, dude. It's expensive, man. It's expensive. Uh, can you get the uh, 10 and a half sulfur for me? I didn't get E8. I, uh, I need it for the tow. Uh, 
I mean, unless you're willing to pay my gas. <laughs> Dude, I got to drive like an hour to get this shoe. I think this shoe should be an easy cop this weekend. I promise you, my guy. I think this shoe, if you need this shoe, it's going to be an easy cop this weekend. I would wait for the sneakers app. I graduated back in 2022. I was uh, in nail school, but I graduated uh, that in December. Oh, gotcha. I thought you were in school or like in college or something right now. Um, Honda the way. Uh, I love your ride though. Thank you, VP. Appreciate that. I got a new set of wheels for my uh, TL. I love the summer, dude. For some reason, you know how like I told you guys, like you seen my, you guys seen my cars. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you guys seen my car, right? I I blacked out my um my uh my Honda Accord, right? And uh, what's it called? I kind of want to change my wheels to white. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out my boy DJ for the 16 month re says I'll pay for gas. Dude, I promise you, DJ. I promise you, man. Like, this shoe should be like an easy cop. I'm sure anyone in here could convince you that this Jordan should be an easy cop this Saturday. Okay? I promise you. This should be an easy cop this weekend. Raph Mobile, but thank you so much for the 16 month re up, my guy. Uh, appreciate that. Looks clean. I appreciate that. Thank you, VP. Appreciate it. DJ, come back on Saturday. Come back on Saturday. Come back on Saturday. And we'll, we'll see what, how it goes, all right? Because we're going to be live this weekend, all right, DJ? Um, Because we're going to, we're going to, if, if, if you really need help, I'll help you out on the Nike sneakers app, if anything, if you want me to. No, nah, don't do that, Raph. Do white? Dude, I don't know. I've been wanting some white wheels for some reason because I scuffed up my black ones. My black ones are scuffed up a little bit, so I kind of want to just like change it a little bit. But I know that my car would look so good if it was lowered like maybe two inches down because I want to put out. I think I'm just going to put coils on it. It'd be sick if I had bags, but I don't want to deal with the maintenance if it ends up like freaking uh, freaking breaking or something. Uh, I get to I got to get a, a, a few TVs put in my trunk. My nephew almost drove me crazy in the last road trip for real for real. You got to get a few TVs in your trunk. Your nephew almost drove you crazy in the last road trip. Bro, that's why you get iPads, bro. How old is your nephew? You said your nephew was driving you crazy on the last car drive. Bro, I when I, when I drove all the way down to San Diego, <laughs> I had a Riley at the time was a two. She was two months. She was two months, uh, two months at the time. And then Rose was two years old. Oh my gosh. On the way back home, we drove from San Diego all the way back to Seattle. Oh my goodness. Riley was six months old and Rose was, yeah, she was still two or three. I think she had just turned three and, um, dude, my kids were driving me crazy, bro. It was like three in the morning. We, we just hit Portland and they were all crying at the same time, and I haven't got any sleep. <laughs> you got to learn how to drive low rider raft? No, I can't. Uh, put 26s on the Honda? Hell no. Nah. I'm only the only the max I would go on my uh, rim size is like 19. I can't. Uh, maybe 20s. You got to keep them kids occupied um, uh, on those long trips. You do. That's why iPad. You got to put iPad up, dude. Put some like blippy or something. I watched the live on my iPad while I do my nails. Asia says, "Like you're doing other people's nails, Asia. Like you're doing other people's nails, or are you like you're doing your own nails? Because I mean, I, you said you went to school for nails, so you're doing so you're doing someone nails. So I'm assuming, Asia, you got your AirPods on, or your you know your or unless you're you know your your fancy and you got those uh, Apple Apple Maxes, right?" Or something. I don't even know what that was called. And you're watching the stream doing someone's nails, right? Uh, no, no, Paula. It's a long story, Paula. Listen, hear me out. It was a long story with that my uh, with my room getting scuffed. Um, it wasn't that I was parking that I I didn't I didn't see the curb is what I happened. <laughs> Rabbit gonna be like Rob with them twenty six, dude. I can't, dude. 19s are perfect, but good luck trying to find tires if you pop one. Yeah. Um, mine's a 2.0. Mine's a 2.0. JM, mine's a 2.0. What up, Hunter? What's good? I do mine, but I also do others. At the moment, I'm just doing mine. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I, I thought you were listening. Yo, Aisha, I thought you were like doing else someone else's nails. I was going to say something, so you would start laughing. 
Are you doing your toenails? Are you doing what is this called, chat? When you do your nails, is it the manicure or is that pedicure? Pedicure is your pedicure your feet? <laughs> Ravi's rims look like my girls. They get on the booster seat. Deleon says, uh, "Rafi needs a booster seat while driving." Cush, cushy, cushy, cushy. You can't make short jokes if you're shorter than me. Cush, cushy souls. You're like five foot and you wear a size six. And you're out here call, saying Rafi needs a booster seat while driving. Listen, buddy, you should take your own advice. All right, Cushy, I don't want to hear it. Manicure, pedicure is for toe. Gotcha. Manicure, pedicure. Hey, don't ill. Yo, look, now you got to get people saying, yo, Aisha, let's see your feet pics. <laughs> yo, that's what people are going to say in the chat. Watch. Petty's for your feet, my boy. Okay. Listen, I don't, I don't do my nails or nothing, bro. Um, all right. Um, Petty for your feet, my boy. Okay. I'm just saying. I, 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 how, Cushy, how, how, you, how, how are you going to like, it doesn't make any sense. How are you going to like put a short joke on someone that's shorter than you? Like that, that, that's taller than you. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Cushy souls always make those dumb jokes about me being short, but that man is like five foot. <laughs> and where's the size six GS? <laughs> Talking about I need a booster seat in my car. Um Ravi got your uh your nails done. Uh the women like it more. I don't know. My nails are fine. Yo, Asia, judge my nails. They're fine. You know, don't judge me. Like my nails are fine. Look at look at my look at my palms though. You see my palms? You see my palms? My palms are like that because I be in the gym. Like, look at that shit. My palms are like that because I'm in the gym all the time. You see my palms? They're nasty. <laughs> Always get him going with them uh, short jokes. Especially you, Cushy. It's because it's you. <laughs> it's only you. Your nails crusty, my uh, trust? Dude, I don't know. I'm a man, bro. I can get my hands dirty. I don't care. I get my hands dirty. Get some uh, weightlifting gloves, man. Nah, I don't do. I don't do. I do. I I have like wrists, uh, straps, but I don't do gloves. My boy's outside. He in the gym. Demo says palms look soft and moisture. It is kind of moist a little bit, dude. A little bit. <laughs> Yo, uh, size six is effing crazy all, all the time. Calm down, Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? No way. Dude, it's so crazy that Ronnie Coleman, how his like entire career, his lifting career is like over. Like not even over. The man's still in the gym, even though he's limping. Ronnie Coleman, you see his videos everywhere, dude. He was like lifting like crazy. And then that shit like backfired when he got older. That man could barely walk. Could barely walk because of all that shit that he's probably taking while he was he was uh lifting. Man could barely walk, bro. That's crazy. No, I've lost a couple pounds, chat. I've been on cardio. I tell you guys, man, I've been on I've been on that cardio, bro. Uh, actually, <laughs> I just weighed myself. Uh, but I've been on that cardio. Hey man, just uh change shoe size, size six like adults now. Yeah. Um let's see uh Cushy rocking a size six and girls, Rahu says. Alright, Rahu, you the you the last person to say something either. You are over here spraining your ankles on panda dunks. <laughs> Steroids, yeah. Ravi gain weight. No, I didn't gain weight. I'm still in the same weight. Listen, I'm still the same weight that I was like a week ago, months ago. Um, 
Uh, what up, Tanona? What up, dude? Drip King TV in the bill. What up, dog? Shout my boy Drip Kings TV in the bill. What up, dude? How you been? Shout my boy Tanani in the bill. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rahus. I had to do it to you. Yo, Rahus, I seen you're on vacation, bro. I don't know if you guys follow uh, Rahus on uh, on Instagram, but this man is at Puerto Rico right now, right? And he went down like a rock slide. I don't know what slide that was, Rahus, because I know damn well Rahus can't swim. That's why he had his little floaty on, right? <laughs> this man is dude rahus dude that freaking that freaking water slide whatever you went down on dude that shit looks so sus bro like i don't know bro i don't know what it is i've never seen a water slide made out of rocks like i don't know what it was but it looked like you were gonna bang your head on that stone bro that dude that looks scary dude like <laughs> i thought he was gonna do this thing <laughs> Yo, I dead ass thought he was gonna do this thing. <laughs> that boy Raul don't know how to swim. Bro, you was on top of the mountain, whatever you were on, bro. You were making sure your shit was tight, dog. <laughs> no, it looked fun. No, 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 no. Raul, it looked really, really fun. <laughs> He said, let the flow take me. Oh, man, dude. That, he, yo, he made sure, yo, he made sure that freaking floaty was tight before he jumped off, bro. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, that shit looked fun, though. No, no, no. He, yo, listen. It looked fun. I can swim, bro. I swear. <laughs> uh, I swam all, all the, all here for Atlanta. <laughs> um... I can swim. I swim all the way here from Atlanta. Yeah, I. Right. <laughs> uh, Rob was flowing on the water. <laughs> he watered my friend. Dude, I don't know. I've never seen a water slide that was made out of stone, dude. That shit looks so, like, it, it, it looks so sus because the thing is not sus, like, weird. But it looked like your ass hurt, dude. That's all I got to say, bro. Like, that shit looked, it looked fun, though. It looks dope. Uh, Rob Jr. was having fun too in that swimming pool. <laughs> um, swimming holes the uh, holes the is the best. Have you guys seen one of those where like people swim in like uh, in caves? I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. And I don't know how people swim in the water in my area too. Like people be swimming like in the lake. They would jump off where like people like you know go fishing and shit, dude. I don't know how people do it, dude. I don't know how people get swim in a lake. I don't know. I get freaked out. I freak out if I can. I'm never. I can't swim in a lake. Is all I'm trying to say. I'll swim in a beach, but not in a lake. Hell no. Um, rock water slides and PR is no joke. It looked fun. Uh, now them rocks be smooth AF uh, though. For real, for real. I would love to swim in a cave. Nah, man, not me, bro. I'm good. I I can't even swim in a. I can't even swim in a lake, bro. Like, I be, I don't know. I get those, I get those, that, that feeling that something's going to pop up in the water, dude. Cause it's like in the ocean, like, you know what I mean? Like you walk on a beach, you're like in the, you know what I'm saying? Like ain't nothing biggie, but in a lake, bro. Like, I don't know. Uh, we swim with the gators in Florida at the spring. That's crazy. The rocks were smooth AF though. Chat, no cap. Y'all have to experience it. Corvette, Corvette, Rahu who says, what time is it over there? You safer at the lake, Raf? I mean, I, I yeah, sure. Raf, can you even swim? Paulo, I could swim, bro. I could definitely swim. I could even swim backwards. I could even swim backwards, dude. Um, I scuba dive. I've seen a, a crash plane uh, from 1940s in Hawaii underwater with sharks. That's crazy. I like swimming in a different kind of uh, hole, King James says. Huh? Wait, what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Um, hour ahead. Okay, so it's like what, seven forty-two in the morning over there, or I don't know if it's three hours ahead from the east coast or four hours ahead from the west coast. Um, nine forty-two a.m. So it's nine forty-two a.m. over there in Puerto Rico. Where is Puerto Rico at? Is that like is that north? Where is that at? Ra cooked those uh, black gum bottoms. Bro, Rahus, can I bring that up real quick? 
Dude, what were you doing with your SBs in the water, my guy? I don't think it's a... I don't know if he wants me to show it. It's his, it's his personal stuff, so I don't want to... I don't know if he wants me to show it. This looks fun as hell, bro. I'm not going to hold y'all. <laughs> his man... Can I show this, Rahus? Yo, Rock, can I see it? The weather is so beautiful here. Yo, Rock, can I, can I show them this, uh, this vid? I didn't see this one. This man... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, my boy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing with that rope, bro? <laughs> I, I didn't see this one. I, I didn't see this one, bro. <laughs> my boy, dude. He's like, dude, bro, who's living his best life, bro? I love it. Whee! <laughs> Dude, that looks so... What are you doing? Oh, man. Dude, that looks so fun, bro. <laughs> look, look. The, the water shoe. Look, 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 look. Here we go. Hold on tight. Here we go. Wee, Bro, take off your shoes. Wait, why'd you wear your shoes? <laughs> Yo, Ra, why did you wear your shoes, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> that looks hella fun, dude. That looks really, really fun, dog. <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> Wait, are you supposed to wear your shoes or nah? I I'm just, I I'm just like wondering. There are rocks in the. Oh, oh there. Oh no, there's rocks in the water. Okay. Uh, because it's a uh, jagged rocks down there. Didn't want to come. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, listen, he didn't, he probably didn't have any water shoes. So F it, bro. F it. Though this is the one right here. This look, this look right here. This is the one I was worried about. But that looks, dude, that looks fun as hell, dude. Is the, uh, how, how cold was the water? Water? Was it pretty cold? I mean, I'm assuming that, I mean, I'm assuming the weather was kind of hot out there. That looks hella fun, dude. Whee! <laughs> you should have, hey, yo, next time you do that, Rob, be like, all right, one, two, three. Whee! <laughs> yo, my boy Rob, who's outside, dude? That, that looks hella fun, dude. I've never been to Puerto Rico. I've never been to Puerto Rico. Yo, little facts, dude. I love my damn water shoe at the uh, Airbnb. Yeah, yo, Rahus, I think you left your off-white uh, your off-white zip tie too, bro. You might have to check on that. <laughs> it was amazing. The water was warm. Oh, really? That that was that was cool. That was cool. Shout out my boy Rahus, and he's still out there. When you uh, when you get home, I think you're out there for like a week, right? Oh boy, Rahus, man, that shit look fun. Um, uh, Ravi, are you staying to the top of the box? The shoe. Oh, is that box today? Hold on. Is that Adida box today? Happy April Fools! Sign up now. April third at twelve p.m. PST. Oh, they dropped today. That's right. The box. Drops today. I left my off while you zip tie in Dallas, Rahu says. <laughs> um Ra took the heat off of me. Uh that 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 looks really really fun. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That looks really really fun. Um don't skip leg day, kids. Oh gosh. Hey man, as long as he's having fun out there, man, that's all that matters, dude. He was ha he he looked he looked like he was having a blast out there. That looked really, really fun. Shout out my boy Rahus, man. Um hopefully the hopefully uh uh baby boy is uh, having fun too. I'll be back in the mainland next week. Okay, so you wow, you're there for a minute. Um that water had leeches. My my son had to uh, outgrow his uh, Travis 6C cushy. I'll send him to you. <laughs> Ravi, you going for the uh, Cactus Jack College collection? Is that today? 
it's not april fools if they uh said they'll actually be uh able to buy resale must be crazy hunter says i'm not sure i thought it was a joke to begin with and i know uh js mom uh mentioned too that like you could you could turn on your net notifications to see what's gonna happen but i mean they did put a price they didn't put a price don't miss out enter before april 3rd at 12 p.m i just don't know how much this is gonna go for the, they don't say the retail price or anything winners announced at 12 15 p.m so i guess if you sign up they'll just announce winners i guess i don't know I just don't know if, like, if they send you an invoice. That's the thing. That there's no explanation on the um, on the drop for the, uh, the Adidas confirmed stuff. Like, it says you could enter for the events or you could leave the events. So, I don't know. I don't know. Because the thing is, you know how, like, you enter for, like, Adidas confirmed app? Like normally they will like confirm like your 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 card, your address, and all that stuff, but they don't do anything on that one. Yeah, I went for that for them. That's why not. Yeah, why not? Exactly. Cause I don't think it's gonna be that much. I feel like retail would be like what, like 50 bucks or something? I don't think retail would be like expensive just for a a shoebox. I might be wrong though. I don't know. You need an island vacation? Yeah, I want to go back to Guam, dude. Yeah, they will send you a, a notification, JS Mom says. Winners will be available to buy, it says. Uh, and then it's a display piece, not to meant to be worn, it says. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's definitely one of those things that, like, I'd, I'd probably buy just, just because I'm curious about it. It's no price. It's just a giveaway. Okay. You know what? F it. I'm going to enter in for it. I'm going to enter in for it. You're in. We'll send you a notification to let you know how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and enter right now. All right. I just entered in right now for the box shoe. I just entered in. F it. Why not? Right? Why not? Why not, chat? Why not? I'm going to go for it. F it. We'll see how this goes. Um... They said winners would be able to purchase, so not sure. Uh, so not sure, fam. Yeah, that's not. It, it doesn't even drop until another what, like four hours, four or five hours, I think, because they drop in uh, twelve o'clock Pacific time. So that's West Coast time that it's gonna be dropping. So it, it don't drop until later. So we're gonna have to wait, I guess. So. Um, make sure you guys run it up if you guys don't mind. Smash that like button, man. I do appreciate you guys tapping in as always. Um. If you guys end up getting exclusive access, congratulations. Should have been an easy cop. Uh, but other than that, like, dude, I'm telling you guys, man, this week is stupid dry. Um, tomorrow, when's the 4th? We got the Air Max at 95 Atlantas. Is anybody going for these tomorrow? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to go for these tomorrow. I'll probably everything is going to be a pass for me this week until the Kobe's. Nike Air Max... 95 atlanta 185 dollars um i'll just cut the toe uh, of uh top of uh one of mine lol straight to sell says what's uh, dropping i was taking a shower drex says nothing is dropping um we just i just turned my notifications on for these uh box shoes so we'll see how this goes um hunter had brought it up so i was like you know what f it i'll go ahead and enter to see uh see what it's all about but i doubt that it's going to be anything so easy pass pass yeah pass on these air maxes yeah like this week even like remember dude <laughs> remember nike tried to shock drop these on us the only person the only i only know two people that has this shoe i only know two people that have the shoe the homie da vintage has this shoe and kais omar kais omar has these he was wearing them like the other day, the hot steppas. And these are these are super orange. Big pass. Where to look? Jim K said possibly shock drop for the Kobe's next week. What? Wait, possible shock drop for the Kobe's next week? Uh-oh. A possible shock drop next week for the Kobe's, huh? Caught for me. Big pass. Well, some of you guys said you guys are going for these fives. These fives are dropping next week, Saturday, I think. Woman's Jordan 1 High OG Chromes. Trash. I'm good on that. 
You guys said this was a cop for you guys. Uh, traffic home vibes. Top shelves. Been had it. Okay. Three millions on it is crazy. They dog water. These ones, you guys said you guys, some of you guys are going to go for these to sell. $210. I think some sizes may sell out on this Jordan 5. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, there's not, they're not a bad shoe. They're not a bad shoe. Construction worker uh, ones. Yeah, I feel you. What up, Tanene? I'm all the way in the building. Yo, uh, just got up. What up, dude? Good morning. Uh, Guam is part of the U.S. Yeah, it's a U.S. territory. That's where I was born. That's why I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh, the cell fives are a uh, are a pass. Uh, Kobe's let's go. I don't even know if like how I don't even care too much about what the resale aspect of it. But I forgot someone had sent me. Wow, I'm surprised that. Wait, hold on, time out. Was did Rami come get in this chat this morning? I didn't see Rami this morning. He must have. He must have fell asleep. Man, that man was late up up late last night. Hold on, let's see those Kobe. It was the Kobe Phillies. Let's see. Here it is. It's this one right here. These ones are supposed to drop next week, right? These ones, right? These are supposed to drop next week. Rami not here? Yeah, I noticed that Rami wasn't here. He was probably up late. That man is like be streaming like at like midnight. He'd be up, up. Yeah, these Kobe, uh, Kobe 4s, Phillies are supposed to drop next week. I think this was the one that he had sent me. Are the Adidas box real? Yeah, blue, it is. It is real. It is real. Unfortunately, it is real. If you're uh, curious about it, um, they are dropping. They are going to be dropping, but I'm. they're supposed to drop today. I thought he, we got three Kobe's on the same day. It was these ones. Um, It was these ones. Uh, The Italian Camel 6s. And then the uh, the Venice beaches eights were supposed to get like three in the same day. Uh, I'm hoping the three Kobe's wind up uh, being draws. Oh, it's it's most likely will Al Chang. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if every single Kobe that's going to be dropped, even those three Kobe's, are going to be all a draw. Maybe the Venice beaches might be a first come first serve, like a Leo drop, since that's probably going to be the one that's more, more widely available. Uh, since they're going to be on Hibbit Sports, they're going to be at uh, Foot Locker and Champs, or no, Foot Locker specifically. So maybe. But other than that, like a lot of these Kobe's will most likely be um, probably a draw. Uh, man, I better hit on one. Right, I know. Uh, Uncle Chrissy said. Kobe's might have an 11 a.m. release instead of a standard 10 a.m. release. Maybe because they're trying to stagger it. Why would they do that? Was there what was there an explanation behind that, John? Uh, John DC. I wonder if there was. Jumpman Jax is all I see. Gum Bottom Gang. Dude, I don't know what was going on with the the, the Travis Scott stuff. Hold on, like, what was it? The Travis Scott like college shit, dude. That's like that. When when's that college drop for uh for Travis's? Does anybody know? I don't know. I don't even know if they show it on their website. They don't. Yeah, I don't know. What was that whole Travis college thing about? Did expect something different since all three are dropping. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting drop. Hoping for a W on the Venice beaches for uh, uh, Venice beaches for Raf. Yeah, I'm no facts. I that's all I want out of three of them. I just want the Venice beaches. That's all I want. Uh, confirmed app says April Fools. Mr. Sneak says no. If you like, no, they they Mr. Sneaks. If you read into it a little bit more, uh, it says it's supposed to drop at twelve. They said uh, now that the joke is revealed. You could still actually have a, a chance to uh, to enter in for the event. What happened to Devin Alexander? I'm not sure. Is it in, is it on the six? Delion says I don't know. For the Travis stuff, like 
I don't know. I don't really care about the Travis, like, the Travis Scott college shit. Dude, that shit's kind of whack. Venice Beach's college have, uh, Kobe's have the uh, most stock between three Italian camos. Have, have the least. Okay. Q's up again. Okay. Q's up again. Another Q up, huh? Another Q, chat. Another Q. Looks like another Q on finish line in JD Sports. Where do I get the uh, go for the box? Uh, GG, it's going to be on the confirmed app. Uh, what's the Q for? I'm not 100% sure what the Q is for, my friend. I'm not sure what the Q is for. I'm not 100% certain what the Q is for. The draw on the winners are for the... Uh, the shoe cabinets, Tony says. Yeah, I know you guys brought that up earlier. So it's basically like a giveaway. Oh, look, information days just hit me up. Info for days says Venice Beach's Kobe's have the most stock out of the three that are releasing next Saturday. Should be a solid amount of W's. Okay. Shout out my boys. Info for days. Appreciate that, my fan. Appreciate that. Um, and he said Philly Kobe fours have the least amount of stocks. So this blue one right here, info for days says, what do you say? He said Philly Kobe fours have the least amount of stock. Uh oh. So they, it sounds like they are all releasing in the same day. So. Hold on. Hold on, releasing the same day. Fam, click the uh, the like, subscribe button. Facts, hit that like button, chat. If you guys know, have you been um, to tribute down in Renton? Hooked me up with a size swap for twenty dollars on the lost and founds. Sergio, yes, I've been there. I've been there multiple times. It's a great store. You talking about Richie Lee store? Yeah, it's a great store. Shout out to Info for Days. Thank you so much for reaching out, man. Uh, give me an, it's going to be an exciting day. So it looks like these are dropping the same day. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, too, that out of all these Kobe's, the Kobe 8s, the Kobe 4s, and the Kobe 6s, the Kobe 4s are very, very comfortable. I'm telling you guys this right now. The Kobe 4s are very comfortable. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, man. All right, so Info for Days sounds, as of right now, all three of them are going to be dropping at the same time. That is crazy. Dropping three Kobe's in one day is insane. Imagine taking all L's on every single Kobe. <laughs> I think I'll probably put my name in the hat for every single Kobe for next week, to be honest. Just to see if I could hit at least one. Is it for dunks? Some woman dunks on the queue? Then why, why are they turning the queue on then? The whole point of it. The cue is for some dunks, chat. Jordan 4 Retro Women's White and Gold on JD Sports. Looks like the uh, Gold Metallic 4s on JD Sports. Hold on. Let me see. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. It's for Women's Jordans. Yeah, it's the gold ones. It's the gold and, uh, gold and white Jordan 4s. If anybody, won't need, if anybody needs those. Um, ninety percent of people will take three L's next Saturday. LMAO, probably Justin. I mean, the Venice beaches is all I need. Uh, obviously, uh, Info for Days said the uh, the Jordan the Jordan Four Phillies are the most limited one. Yeah, it might be an all L's for me. Facts, dude. And the the thing is, like, I also wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be a sneakers pass next week too. Or the Kobe's. I'm wondering if they'll do it. You know, the city of LA and then New York will get him probably, and that's it. What up, Caesar? What's good, dude? Woman's Jordan 4s on JD Sports and Finish Line. If anybody is interested, by the way. All right. If anybody's interested, woman's Jordan 4s. All right. On the queue for JD Sports. Uh, only going for them because I need 1,000 points for a list. There you go, Lewis. Uh, I bet I'm going to take an L, Gooseby says. Italian camels is my favorite. Yeah, I think that is what everyone's probably going to... That's like everyone's favorite is the Italian camels would probably be number one. The Venice beaches and then probably the Kobe fours are going to be last on that list. 
uh for uh if if you want to put it like you know in order of from first to last shit being cooked getting errors uh oh well i got through on desktop Bolt drops tomorrow. That's an instant sellout for best running shoe in the world. Uh, Hunter says, okay. Oh, whoops. Woman's dunk low twist. There's the Jordan 4s. I'll take one of, uh, of any, Assad says. I got EA on the shitty shoes. Uh, Smith says, golly. Dude, I want a pair of Asics. Yeah, these Asics are nice. Oh, man, they sold out. Oh, these are big kids anyways. That This colorway is nice on these Asics, man. I need a new running shoe, chat. I need a new running shoe this year, dude. I need a new running shoe. That's what I've been needing. A new running shoe. And I think it's going to be an Asics, I think. You guys hear that? Someone's alarm is going off, dude. Do you guys hear that? Someone's <laughs> someone's car is going off right now. Do you guys hear that? Asics finally raft. Yeah, I want a pair of Asics for running shoes. Vermeros. Um I mean, I don't mind Vimeros. Vimeros are nice, but I I kind of just want to go with A6, dude. If I'm going to do a running shoe, Vimeros. Oh, Vomeros. The Vimero 5s, these always tend to sell out. Ravi, do you even run? Yeah, I do, I do run. Vimeros, the Vimeros don't even have anything in the resale market, dude. I just want something just to use to run and when I do uh, cardio. Uh, get some clouds raft, way better. I'm still salty about the hidden New York A6. Yeah, you know what? I, I was going to go for them, but they just automatically sold out. All black Vimeros are nice. No, I, I want white shoes. I normally like white shoes. Um, whenever I'm running, somebody's, uh, stealing Rafi's car, thinking it's somebody else's is funny as hell. What up, Tooth? Raf, get the Alpha Fly 3s. It's literally like Nike's quotes. It's the best running shoe in the world. It set the best timing in the marathon in those shoes. They're even banned from a uh, marathon. Seriously, the Alpha Fly 3s. I've never heard of those. Let's see. The Alpha Fly 3s. You talking about fees? White running shoes is crazy. I just run on the treadmill, my guy. I, I don't run outside. I run on the treadmill at the gym. I don't run outside. What the hell is this? Uh, no military blue shock drop today, my friend. No military blue shock drop. Just get Vimeros, Corey says. What up, Corey? <laughs> what up, OG Jim Rat? What's good? Uh, watching all the way from Wisconsin, went to Sneaker Culture, Chicago, and got a picture with JMK. He's two, uh, he's up two on y'all. Uh, you gotta get on the, uh, east side. Gotta check meeting you off the, the bucket list. I'm a boy OG Gym Rat, man. I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you so much. Wasn't he at a, what, did, where were he at? Sneaker Culture? I believe. Um, I, I don't think, Hunter, I don't think this is my style. Um, I like the Zoom technology. I do like the Zoom technology. I really do. Um, I was a big fan of uh, Hunter. I don't know if you know the Pegasus. I used to rock Pegasus when I was working at Champs. I had a couple Pegasus when I was working there. And I love it. I love the Zoom technology. Um, it's very, very comfortable. I think it's. I think the Zoom technology on like running shoes are like one of the, uh, one of the most underrated technologies for Nike. Um, but I just feel like with this specific style... 
it's just it's just not it's just not my style i don't know i feel like i'm i feel like if i had wore these shoes dude i'd probably be like six foot two the top of the top of the top running shoes raf i believe those were worn while right yeah yeah that's what um that's what hunter was talking about that these were these were like I think these are like banned from marathons I believe. Uh, fear of God Adidas just drop. Ethan says. Uh, Pegasus is awesome. Rap get uh hookahs uh, for running, bro. I will see. I'm gonna stop, but I gotta go to the stores, man. I need to go outside and start looking at some stores. Uh, he's not competing. He's yeah. I'm just exercising. <laughs> Uh, I bet Hoka's is uh, Rafi style for sure. Hoka's is that a Nike? Talking about these, bro. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is the one you're talking about. Yeah, sneaker culture Chicago. I I sold him uh, my 2019 black cement breads, SBs, powder blue, uh, powder uh, buttercuff. He cashed me out. I did well selling. Didn't cop anything, but but a T. OG Jim Rat says there you go. OG Jim Rat. I didn't even know you're from Chicago, my guy. I didn't even know you're from Chicago. Shamo boy JMK in the building. They're not banned. Uh, if you if you just run on the treadmill, what makes a difference? What you are wearing? Yeah, I mean. That's why I, I, I that's why I was like I, I was just gonna get some basic like uh, some basic Asics and just run with that you know on running opened a flagship store in Portland just got my first pair Tony says okay um nine for uh, hookahs the cliff the Clifton Edge nine man you guys you guys are putting me on Clifton Edge nine hookahs. Is that how you say it? Hoka's? Okay, these are a little bit better. But why are the soles so thick? Yo, JMK, what are you doing right now? Mr. Jumperman Chris. Mr. Jumperman Chris, what are you doing right now? Mr. Jumperman Chris, are you home right now? Mr. Jumperman Chris? Yo, someone asked Jumperman Chris if he's home. Sometimes he'd be on Jose time on the stream. These are okay, but what's up with like the thick outsoles? Uh, get those new concept Hoka shoes. Listen, I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna stick with it. Maybe look into some uh some ASICs. <laughs> Run the treadmill with some Yeezy pods. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I heard people are still waiting for the Yeezy pods. Like people are pissed. Jumperman says, I'm at the gym, fam. Mr. Jumperman Chris is at the gym, fam. Yeah, I know. The soles are meant to be thick for running rap. Yeah, no, I, no, I understand. I understand. Tech here, Nike. Grandma joints. Jim K, don't mess with uh, you no more. Too cool. <laughs> no, no, no. He's always busy. That's why. It's all good. <laughs> He's, he's just busy. He's at the gym. I don't know. Honestly, I, I think I'd probably stick with the Asics if you guys have any recommendations. Um, because my girl wants to try on some uh of the uh the 9060s, the new balances, and that's what she do. That she really wants some new balances, bro. So she has to try them on. Like I, I asked her, I was like, we could look into it, but she said she wants to try them on first before she even orders any of them online. So I think we might have to go to like some sort of like JD Sports or Finish Line or Foot Locker, have her try on some to see if she likes it. If every uh, if anyone wasn't uh such glazing and we're we're probably approaching a class action lawsuit states for easy pods and orders. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking a long time. Raph, you better try them uh some new shoes. Please don't get something you pr uh, previously worn before. Bless your feet with something new, fam. I understand, man. Like I, I try, I try to do, you know, go with something new. But like, you know, at the same time, like it, it's whatever that's more more comfortable on my feet. You know, like you know how like people would say like, oh, well, these are more comfortable than this more comfortable. But then like it'll be the complete opposite, you know. So because I'm a I'm a flat foot guy. Like my my feet are more flat 
Like, I don't really have an arc. That's why when I wear, like, my Kobe 6s, and, like, you know how, like, the insole has, like, that huge arc? Um, it, that's, that's what hurts my foot. So, like, I need something kind of flat. Um, remember the Roche runs? Bro, I can't believe Roche runs used to be a running shoe, man. Using my Soul Premise bag for the flight to Palm Springs? Yo, Tooth, make sure you tag Soul Premise, dude. If you're going to uh, uh, Palm Springs... And then you're using your bag. Make sure you uh, make sure you tag make sure you tag them. Two. When is your wife due? Aren't you about to be a dad here soon? In like in two months. Two. How's the wife doing, bro? How's the wife doing, man? How's the wife holding up? I know that pregnancy is like, dude. That shit's no joke for woman, man. So hopefully she's doing all right. Uh, wait for uh, you foam runners. A running uh, a running shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine you see someone running in foam runners. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, July fifteenth, man, that's it's coming up soon. May, June, July, you got three months, my guy. That shit's gonna come. Yeah, that shit's gonna be quick. And hopefully, the wife is doing all right, Tooth man. Tell her I said hello. She's good. Back hurts and all that shit. Yeah. There you go, Tooth man. Hey man, I'm excited for you, my guy. Toof, yo, look, listen, guys. Toof is going to go MIA once he has his kid, bro. I promise you, man. He's going to be a busy guy. That shit ain't no joke, bro. Toof don't fart on babies. <laughs> Good uh, getting milk in uh, Palm Springs. I saw someone uh, hiking in uh, Foam Runners. That's crazy. What do you think? We're going to have a shock drop on Kobe's? Kid Rock, we'll see what happens next week, man. All right, we'll see. Just got back from Palm Springs. It's fun right now. It's like 81 degrees right now. I mean, listen, he's probably, Tube is probably, he's used to that weather. He's from Arizona, so he's definitely used to that hot weather, man. Uh, dude, it's no joke out there in, uh, in Arizona. It gets up to like, what, 103, 4 degrees? Golly, man. I don't know how y'all do that, man. Uh, Tube coming to my hometown, straight to toe says. Straight to toe, is that where you live? Palm Springs? Or is that just where you're from? Check out the Brooks. Um, you know what? I've seen Brooks before. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, but it's just like I've been kind of like seeing like some of these eight. I'm telling you, Asics, Vimeros, you know what? I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like, I'm not the crazy Vimero fan. I'd rather have a pair of Asics. 81 8 hot. That's light work, too. Says, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're used to that weather. But like I feel like 81 is like, dude, that's hot, hot for me. Like once it hits like the 80s and the 90s, yeah, I'm good, bro. Dude, my kids already complain when it's like 70 degrees outside. I'm like, listen, kids, you don't know hot. Oh lord, I go to Phoenix on the uh on the 12th. There you go. Yo, tooth. Yo, tooth. Did you know that yo yo sneaker expo is going out there in Phoenix and they're trying to invite me to go out? <laughs> I think uh I think what Sneaker Expo is going out to Phoenix in August, I believe. And they're trying to have me get out go out there. They're trying to go have me go out there, LA, um, and then back to San Francisco again. But we'll have to wait and see. No humidity, it's a different type of heat. A hundred in Florida, it's worse. Let me see what the weather is like today. Let me see. Is this sunny today? It looks like it's about to be sunny today. Let me see. Get some sockenies. Um, sockenies are nice. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me see the weather real quick, chat. Let me see the weather. The weather right now is 40 degrees. It, oh, man, it's going to be cloudy all day. Never mind. It looks like it's sunny right now, but it's, it's going to be cloudy all day. This is my dude. My weather is shitty. Look at this chat. I'm going to show you guys. It was sunny. For a good run. Look at my weather. Let me show you all real quick. Y'all want to see my weather for the rest of the week and next week? Look at this. It's embarrassing. Hold on. Look at this. This is my weather. That's my weather in the next like two weeks. You know how depressing that is? All it is is clouds. I mean, at least it's not raining. But that is the weather. How it looks like for the rest of the week and next week. Embarrassing, dude. Classic Pacific Northwest. Ain't nothing. It's a classic Pacific Northwest thing. Like, that's so shitty, bro. Like. 
I don't know how how a state in a city could be that depressing. <laughs> 120 degrees is normal here in the summer. That is nuts. 120 degrees. How do you even go outside when it's that hot? Yeah, that's why I'm so pale, dude. That's why I'm 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 probably whiter than most of you guys in here. Been raining for a week straight at the East Coast. I'm probably whiter than most of you guys. I can't live uh, live there. I'm from the Sunshine State. Yeah, I feel you. Weather really affects mood. Uh, shitty weather, or shitty mood. <laughs> not necessarily, man. I've been living here almost like half my life, man. Like, it's it's not bad. But whenever like you kind of crave like the you know once it's spring summertime, that's when you're like, all right, I kind of want some sun. But I really don't mind this weather in the winter though. Like the winter, it's normal for me to to feel this type of weather. But you want to at least get one summer and some spring. Go outside when the sun sets. Yeah, it's pouring out here right now, Drex says. Yeah, see, the thing that the rain, the rain clouds, I'm used to all that stuff. It's not bad. No humidity normally. Well, that's good. Dude, Florida is bad. I went to Miami one time in Florida, Orlando, and the humidity out there is so bad. Ah, dude, you walk out, you feel like you got to go go back inside and take a shower. <laughs> that, that's how bad it is. Jamie will be here. Rafi, do uh, you do even streams too now? Um, Chumbo boy Jamie says, uh, I'm driving right now. This new job is installing things left and right. So I doubt I'll be uh, on the streams any in the streams anymore. Jamie says, yo, Jamie, we'll be here, man. No worries. If you got a pool and an AC in Arizona, ain't bad. Yeah, you just don't want to go outside, bro. Like, ah, I don't know. Um, dude, imagine like living in an area where like it's constantly like a hundred degrees and like your AC breaks. <laughs> like, do you have like backup AC in your house? Like, how does that work? Anybody that lives like in Arizona or like Vegas, like if your AC ends up breaking, then what? <laughs> like, what happens then? Is there like a 24 hour maintenance guy that you comes in and fix it real quick? Whether or not for the the week nowadays, dude. Imagine like sleeping and it's like 80 degrees inside your room. Oh my gosh. Don't speak uh, bad on my name uh, or at me, Raph. Orlando says, oh gosh, relax. Talking about the city, Orlando, not you. Imagine living in a state where you can't even go outside for five months. <laughs> dude, Tona, we all know you don't like the, the heat, dude. <laughs> Ice bath for uh, fans and you call the AC guy. It's most constantly 100. It's only 100 plus for maybe three months. You stay at a hotel for a day. Jake B says, really? <laughs> They're here in Coachella. Even like when it gets that hot, like even if you have like that, one of those ACs where like you attach that little, uh, the hose um, from the window and it comes in, like it's still hot because the hose gets so fucking hot, dude. And it just heats up the room. Your bed becomes a water bed with all the that's disgusting, dude. I hate sweating, dude. I just don't like sweating in bed. Like that's so gross. Like even sometimes I'll be waking up sweaty, bro. It just makes me want to jump in the shower sometimes, bro. Like yeah, media. Thank you so much for the two. He said that's why you uh, have a maintenance plan for AC. Gotcha. So there's like a maintenance plan. So if you live out there in the in 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 Nevada, well, that's good. Out here, dude, you got to worry about the freaking uh, what's it called? You got to worry about the heater. But I mean, the heater is not too bad. We got like you know chimneys and stuff like that. AC don't work. I am free balling on everything. Oh gosh, I hate the heat, dude. I'd I'd be uh, put on a house arrest if I lived in Arizona. <laughs> Imagine living in a state where you only see the sun for three months. Robert, hey, man, that's where I live. I You see the sun and the heat for like three months. And then like sometimes I'm obviously when it's cold, it'll be nice out like during the winter and fall time. It'd be beautiful. Like, let me tell you guys something. As much as I like crave for the sun and heat sometimes, and it's kind of rare and not even rare. It's only sometimes Nolan, thank you so much for the 15 month re up. Haven't been here for a minute, Raffy. Been busy. Shovel Boy Nolan for the 15 month re up, man. That's why you have a maintenance plan for AC. Shovel Boy Nolan, I appreciate that, my guy. Media, thank you so much for the two. But no, like in the fall, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, whether if you're from Portland, 
from Seattle, from the Pacific Northwest in general. Like, it's actually beautiful out here during the fall. Whenever, like, the leaves start to fall off, it gets, it's kind of chilly outside. It's like, you know, 50, 40 degrees, but it's like really sunny outside. It's really, really nice out here in the Pacific Northwest. Like, for me, I would want to live somewhere in December where I could feel that it's Christmas, you know, Christmas time. Like, I, I want to feel like, you know, there's a holiday joy. Like, I, I don't want to feel like I'm in the summertime 24-7 of my life, you know? So, like, if I lived in, like, Arizona or, like, maybe, like, California and it's hot and, and hot and sunny, you know, on Christmas Day, like, I'm just like, man, I don't feel the holiday joy that way. I don't know. I'd feel, I'd, I'd feel different. That's why it's nice. Whenever you're in the like somewhere that's cold, like New York, Chicago, uh, Cincinnati, or somewhere like that, it's cold during the winter time. It feels nice uh, during the holiday season. When I moved to LA, I got depressed and missed the cold and rain. Seasons are actually nice in the uh, Pacific Northwest. It is. It really is. As much as I complain about it sometimes, I still love the weather out here. Whenever it's during those uh, during those seasons, I miss fall and snow. For real, JS mom says. Yeah, even if you live in Florida. Like it, it, all you get is heat and hot 70, 80 degrees on a holiday season. It's Christmas, right? Christmas day. You're like, oh, it's, it's Christmas today. Uh, you know, Merry Christmas. And it's like 80 degrees outside. That made no sense. <laughs> uh, makes sense. I don't do holiday straight to toe says, okay, that, that's fair. Um, spending Christmas on the beach is a vibe, I guess. I mean, Sure, if there's really nothing going on on Christmas Day, sure, and you, you're you kind of spending your time with your family on the beach, sure, why not, you know? But other than that, it's just like, man, I don't know. Um, That's why I can't stay in the... This is the one reason why I can't stay in the, in the, uh, in the East Coast, dude. I can't live there. I just can't. But when we... I'm not going to lie. When I lived in Georgia, when I, when I was living in Georgia out there in Kings Bay... It was actually pretty cold at times during the winter time uh, out there in Georgia. Like it would get pretty freaking cold. It wouldn't snow, but it would get pretty cold. Um, first of all, Christmas is fake. Christmas started in Jamaica. Oh gosh, uh, Florida ever got the snow, the sniffing kind? Oh, <laughs> yo, son, you're crazy, dude. <laughs> Uh, we still have all these seasons here in Arizona. December gets, yeah. I mean, even like the people that live in like Nevada, like I have friends that live in Vegas and it gets actually pretty cold out there in the winter time. Like it does, it gets like down to like what the fifties, sometimes the forties out there in, uh, in Vegas. Um, it only just gets hot in like what August, July, uh, June and May, like starting in May it gets pretty, it gets pretty hot there in Vegas. But other than that, like the weather out there, like all the other months is is okay. I think that's what Tooth says said said as well. It gets like really hot for like three months, and then it's like chills down to like the seventies or something like that, seventies or eighties. But still, that's I feel like that's still hot. Um, let's see. Uh, it says we still have uh, seasons here in Arizona. December gets into the low thirties and twenties. Okay, like you talking about in the morning, right, Romario? You talking about in the morning or are you just talking about in general? What was that Ramiro? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, there's a snowstorm over here in the nor uh, northeast, Maine and Vermont. Okay. Vegas, 40, cold, windy. Sometimes we get snow. Good point. In Arizona, high country is snow a lot. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. I'd rather have the sunshine with the option to go up to the mountains up for the day to see snow, Seawilk says. Well, Seawilk, you're from LA. So, I mean, like, I don't know. There's certain places that me personally, like I've said this before, I don't think I'd ever live in LA, man. I don't think I'd ever live out there. Maybe like outskirts of LA. Like if I go to like um Vallejo or um what's it called? Not Vallejo, but uh fuck. What's that? What's that one place, Tony, that we talked about? Uh if you could choose a place you live in before to stay the rest of your life, money not a factor, where would you choose to live? Okay, if you could if you could choose a place that you've lived in before to stay the rest of your life and money not a factor, where would you choose to live? San Diego. <laughs> that would that would probably be my first option would be San Diego. I love it out there, man. I love it out there. It's perfect. It's like a perfect place. It's it's overpopulated, but 
still. Not Torrance. It's the one more uh, more south, uh, Tony. More south. The one with the big-ass Ferris wheel. LA is shitty. I live in Orange County. There you go, Seawilk. Um, I lived in Alaska for two years. We used to paint our windows black in the summer 24-7. Some 24-7 uh, sun for three months, Ivan says. I'm here in Portland forever. Yeah, I'd probably go San Diego or... I'll probably stay in Washington. I wouldn't mind staying where I'm at right now. Like, I wouldn't mind at all. I'd get a nice house, a uh, house out here, um, and stay, stay here. Irvine, there you go. Irvine, there you go. That, that's the spot. Irvine. I wouldn't mind living out there. Downtown LA was nasty. Yeah, that's why you live outskirts of LA, man. Long Beach, warm breast milk says California best weather. Joe says I, Irvine is nice. It's just expensive. Yeah, Irvine is a nice place, man. I've been there multiple times, and it's beautiful. Uh, Orange County is bougie, Cass says. Come on, Raph. Move to uh, move uh, move to uh, San Diego, homie. It is nice here. It is. My uh, the wifey is uh, my wife is born and raised out there. Rob, are you out there in San Diego? I didn't know you're from San Diego. Yeah, I, I lived there for a couple uh, a couple years before I moved back. The wifey is born and raised uh, from uh, she's born and raised in San Diego. That's why when we go out there, it's like we visit her family and my parents out there too. So I've uh, been in Boston all my life. I'm ready to, for some warm weather uh, year round. There you go. Costa Mesa, uh, Mesa, California. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Rob, I was uh, I was working at the uh, the uh, what's it called at National City. I was working at the um, uh, the Plaza, Plaza Bonita Mall. I was working at Champs. Back in 26, so was it 2016? 2016, 17, I was, uh, I was living out there. Uh, oh, you're in Mira Mesa? Okay, that's not too bad. Mira Mesa. Check Twitter. Vegas has these snowy mountains like LA for three months too. Let me see. I know there's certain spots in LA. Is it, is it, uh, is it called Big Bear? I think that's what that's called it because I think that's where Tony went for his birthday. Let's see. Vegas has snow mountains too. Oh, I'm like, I'm trying to look where you're trying to show me. Okay, gotcha. Okay. The mountains right there with some snow. Is San Diego more expensive than the Pacific Northwest? Yes. If I would say like, all right. Okay. Is San Diego more expensive than the Pacific Northwest? To what you get in San Diego? Yes. Okay, um, but yes, it is more expensive in San Diego. California in general is just expensive. Like San Diego, if you want like a decent house, dude, you're gonna end up paying like, like what seven, eight hundred thousand, dude, for a house. Here in the Pacific Northwest, you could get a decent house, like a brand new house, for like five, six. But the thing is, in San Diego, right? you're paying for the weather you're paying for all the beaches and everything that's around it like downtown is like 15 minutes away from everything it's stupid expensive it's just the thing about san diego is like just way overpopulated but i still love it i i, I enjoyed myself being down there um and i the wife who was born and raised down there so i just know the loops out there now oh yeah i was i go to that mall for shoe palace sneaker drops retired from a uh, military and stayed here okay rob there you go what were you were you in the navy rob or no you it's either that you're in the navy or in the um uh what's it called the marines because they have like what that base up north out there and uh, out there in the ocean side my sister's husband used to be in the marines so we used to i used to commute from uh what's it called from uh oceanside all the way down to national city every single fucking day dude that shit sucked that 805 ain't joke at uh ain't no joke at uh, t uh sometimes man what up rami what up dude good morning raf and collector fam what up kate good morning to you appreciate you tapping in this morning yeah san diego looks nice it is nice it's very nice Rafi got real. Oh, Rafi, you got you got real estate in uh, in San Diego. Tony says, <laughs> "Yeah, San Diego looks nice." Camp, yeah, Camp Pendleton. That's what it's called. Forgot. <laughs> uh, all I remember about San Diego is that the smell like crap everywhere. <laughs> Drexel. Well, there's a lot of home. Listen, there's a lot of homeless out there in Sandog, man. There is. 
you, you go to downtown, man, there's like a one part in San Diego where there's just a ton of homeless. Yeah, sir, uh, retired Navy. I uh, did almost my entire career out there. There you go. Well, thank you so much for your service, Rob. There you go. There you go, man. Yeah, I was working in that Navy base for a minute. Uh, for a couple of uh, about like four or five months when I was working at my last job and uh, we were working on those carriers and stuff. It's fun. It's cool. My house price uh, went up on the millions. Hate it. Property taxes. High F. Dude, I mean, I'm pretty sure anybody that lived in California in general since what? Uh, what? The 90s or 80s? Imagine how much your guy's house is right now is worth. Big Ron's kick said his house is already paid off, dude. He's been living in California almost his whole life. Big Ron kick says his house is paid off and everything. And he lives in Cal. He lives in LA. Shit's crazy, man. Imagine paying your house off in LA and California. And then you're just, your house is probably worth like only almost probably like a million dollars, depending on where you live, dude. My, my aunt lives in like, dude, my aunt lives in the heart of Hawthorne, man. She lives in the heart of Hawthorne, dude. Like she do that street that she lives in. I, we, I've been there for so many, so for so long. Like now that I think about it, like, dude, I feel really not safe walking around there. But at the same time, it's like, dude, I've been there for so long. I'm just so used to it. Right. And like her house is worth like, I think she said like nine, uh, eight to nine hundred thousand dollars, dude. It's just crazy. The heart, bro, the, the heart of Hawthorne, man. It's like, holy smokes. Yeah, well, the thing is, my aunt, in a couple years, that, like, my aunt works at the uh, the LAX, so she's waiting until, you know, for a couple more years, and then she's going to retire, and then they're going to sell their house, and they're just going to move to Arizona. It would have been a cool to get stationed out on the West Coast. It would have, and listen, it's always a blessing, dude. If you end up getting stationed out the West Coast, I mean, it's always nice, because you get nice weather, too. Uh, I should have been buying a house in 92 instead of drinking, uh, boo boo. Jamie says, Oh gosh. Um, uh, my wife's, uh, my wife's parents live in Hawthorne. Yeah. My, uh, my aunt's been living in Hawthorne since like, I think the eighties, dude, she's been there for a long time. So my parents bought their house for 200 K and now it's worth 1 million. That is nuts, dude. That is crazy. That is crazy. The fact that you could get that much for a house at some point and then it's worth that much is crazy did you see um anybody that's from um what's it called uh i seen on uh on tiktok that since they are uh closing down they closed down that hotel yesterday did you guys see that um what was it the uh hotel is it tropican trop trop uh hold on tropic i don't know how to say it tropic Tropicanza? I don't know how to say it. They had just closed it down yesterday. This Las Vegas resort is closing its doors tonight forever to begin demolition tomorrow. Just two days shy of what would have been its 67th anniversary. Here is your last look at Tropicana. This place has been Tropicana. falling apart for ages, and it's a good thing. So they're basically closing it's down, like, they're the taking this down. They're going to build a Major League Baseball stadium, but that's They're taking this down because they're, they're building that, um, they're building that, uh, the MLB probably not going to happen either. The only cool thing about this property is the beautiful glasswork above They the just closed games, it down like the other day. Much everything else has been in disrepair and absolutely filthy for years. The company that owns this property, Bally's, is in severe financial distress. And because of that, the I'm I don't I didn't really um read into it. Did they get paid off for that or what? Like I'm sure like I'm sure they like got paid for this shit, dude. To like to take this shit down. I mean, it is a bro. It's so crazy because I was reading into it because they're like, why did they take this hotel down? But they didn't take Circus Circus down. Empty for some time now. They gave up on the food court years ago, and things that were once iconic, like their swimming pool, just kind of look busted and run down. It isn't expected that Robert Irvine's the haunted hotel open in LA, but everyone's hoping that Purple Rain does find a home. It's a great show. It's okay to be nostalgic, but if anyone really cared, they wouldn't be. Yo, <laughs> I, I, yo, so I watched this video yesterday, right? So they're like putting the chains up on the, uh, on this. Yo, imagine, imagine they lock in the doors and they forget somebody inside. 
yeah, the uh, Oakland A's are going to have to build uh, the new Tropicana, Casa, Canna uh, Casino Hotel in Vegas, opposite end of the strip. Rafi, is that your former employee? <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. They're, they're closing down the. I used to work here, dude. They start to celebrate. What are they celebrating for? Wait, I don't get it. Why are they celebrating for? It's so funny how people complain. It's like, I don't understand that they're growing, uh, but that wouldn't find any uh, anywhere else to put the baseball stadium. It's like, who cares, dude? There's so many different hotels in Vegas. Like, Come with me on a final tour of the <laughs> End of an era. If I would ah! Well, it is official. This famous Las Vegas hotel will soon be demolished. This is the Tropicana. A's keep the uh, keep following the Raiders. Twenty four and twenty twenty five to make. But did you see how the stadium is gonna look like for the Aces, though, dude? Their stadium looks sick, dude. I don't know if you guys seen it, but the stadium looks sick. Yeah, I seen the stadium. It looks crazy. One point five billion dollar project for the Oakland A's. The baseball team is moving to Las Vegas and will be building their stadium on this site. The project will also be including Look a new hotel shit. by the owners of the Tropicana. This is a very sad announcement for many people, as the iconic 66-year-old resort had built a name for itself on the Strip. Hold on, I'll show the you guys. The hotel has had a very good run. Currently, it is the third... First hotel we stayed at, we got uh, Vegas for the first time. Nobody went there anyways. Exactly, Caesar. So this is how the stadium is supposed to look like. Like, this shit's crazy. That's how it's supposed to look like. Like, look at this. It's an indoor baseball field, chat. It's an indoor baseball field. Like, it looks like it's going to be outdoor, but it's not. Like, this entire stadium is getting, is getting covered. It looks like a snow globe. Basically, that's what it is. Like, that's super cool. I feel like they mimicked the um, the spear in a way. Like, you know how, like, the spear, like, you could show... I, I feel like they mimicked it a little bit. And I feel like what it's gonna, it, what's going to look cool about it is that, like, they're going to do, like, some sort of, like, different types of, like, light shows inside the stadium. I think that's going to look cool, dude. Even though the the it doesn't the team suck? That looks nice, yeah. Shit's bonkers, dude. It really is, dude. That's insane. Um all shoes but put uh put away. I'd hate to see a Jordan shoe all chewed up. Big Ron's kick says, What up, Big Ron? All that for a trash team. Hey man, you never know, bro. And that's what I'm saying, like, soon enough, man, I've already said this, that Vegas is going to be like the new L.A., bro. I already, I, I, I have this vision. I have this vision, man. Just wait, dude. Vegas is going to be like the new L.A. They got a baseball, they got a football. They're about to watch, they're going to get a basketball team. They already got a, they got a baseball team coming. They got a hockey team. Just wait, dude. Just wait. If the Aces end up going to the championship one day, they win a couple chips. They get a basketball team winning a couple chips. The Raiders, once, once they win, like, dude, I'm telling you this right now, dude. Like, Vegas is going to be like a new L.A. here soon, man. And the fact they're getting a baseball field is insane. That team does suck. I mean, they do, but who knows that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that will bring in all the, like, the good players wanting to play in Vegas. You never know, chat. Listen. Moving to Vegas could just want to have all the good players wanting to play for the Aces. We were supposed to get a basketball and a soccer. That's crazy. Not Ace, uh, Ace, uh, not Aces. Yeah, goof. I don't watch baseball. My bad. <laughs> um, Ace are uh, are on a two p. Warriors to, Ve to Vegas next, Michael. They would never do that. Warriors to Vegas, they would never do that because they just they just opened up their stadium, their new stadium a couple years back. They just moved. 
with the new stadium comes with the new uh, investors, which means more money to hire better players. Exactly, Drex. That's what I'm saying. That's why it was perfect for a shitty team that's probably cheap to go to Vegas to invest into that team, man. It's 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 it. We put one to one together, two to two. It makes sense, right? The Rams sucked until they came back to LA and then won the chip. All right, Cass. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Rams suck until they came back to LA and they won the chip. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, is it a women's basketball team? Oh, is that really? Dude, I see. I don't watch. I don't watch women's basketball. Big as a dope. Um. Art architect and I studied that dude. Uh, his work is solid. Baseball is whack, anyways. Ain't nobody watched that sport. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that watch baseball, dude. You'd be surprised how many people in here watch baseball. With the logic, 49ers to Vegas, then no, no. Clearly, obviously, that will never happen. All right, I don't like these shots you're taking there, Orlando. That's a white man sport. That's why. <laughs> Yo, relax. What are you talking about, white man sport? You know how many Hispanics love baseball, dude? You know how many Hispanics love baseball? There's a lot of them, but I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of white folks that love baseball here. That and hockey. Baseball is cool when the uh, playoffs start. Dude, they play like 160 games, dude. <laughs> hey, you say ain't nobody watching golf either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vegas getting an expansion NBA team, not relocating. Um, I don't watch it on TV, but I love going to the stadium. Dude, I've never been to a baseball game, dude. I've never, I've never. The best players in baseball are not white. Uh, I love baseball. What you mean? Nobody likes baseball. It's Americans game. SMH Rob says go Dodgers. Um, only Dominicans and Puerto Ricans watch baseball. Peace rap fam. Have a great day on the way to a meeting and I'll pick up my trophy rooms. There go Jay Bays. I see uh, Golden State Warriors of the Kings moving to Vegas. Nah, dude, ain't no way the Kings would move. I, I don't know. I don't. If Vegas got a basketball team, like like a men's basketball team, dude, it'd be like Detroit or some shit. <laughs> Respect me, bro. It'd be like some like Detroit. Give them like the Vegas Pistons. Give them the Detroit Pistons, dude. Nobody's watching soccer, dude. dude. Dude, what are you talking about, dude? Soccer is like one of the most famous sports. I, I would say like, what's number one? Wouldn't you guys say like number one like overall in sports? I feel like soccer would be number one, right? If you're going to talk about the entire world, I feel like soccer, football, baseball, basketball right if you're talking about the entire world soccer has got to be number one yeah soccer is number one football baseball and nba easily soccer is number one I mean, I don't know. Basketball number one by far? No. Bring back the Super Sonics. Facts. <laughs> no one, no, no. The biggest is the badminton. No one plays badminton, bro. Dude, I, anyone in here could play badminton. Okay, now about just USA. Okay, if, okay, this is my. This is my opinion. When it comes to the USA, I would say USA, if you're talking about just in the US, I'm just going to I'm just going to guess by just what I see. All right? I'm going to go ahead and say number 1 most watched, it's got to be football. Football, 
and then baseball, and then NBA. I feel like hockey is last. Maybe, no. I feel like hockey's before... You know, I'm not going to lie. Hockey might be before NBA. I don't know. That's a tough one. NBA and hockey, because there's a huge crowd of hockey. Okay, hold on. I forgot about soccer, too. You got to put soccer in there, too. Sorry. But U.S., I feel like it would be football. Figure skating? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Baseball, basketball, football. Football would be number one. Tennis, big two? Yeah. Golf would be like the last on the list. Nobody watch golf. Golf is boring. It's NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL. Okay. NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL. No one likes to watch fairies, too. <laughs> Everything is before soccer in the U.S., respectfully. <laughs> I'd rather watch Indian chess slapping. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, have you guys seen these? Hold on, dude. Hold on. Where is that? <laughs> Yo, you guys seen this? Hold on, hold on. Let me show y'all. Yo, I, could, I, I feel like some of y'all need to do this. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oops, I spelled it wrong. The crazy Hawaii one. Look at this. I feel like some of you guys would join this sport. Two. <laughs> Legal slap. <laughs> like what kind of fucking sport is this dude the slap competition yeah this is what you guys need <laughs> this is this is popular <laughs> yo <laughs> who the hell would do this bro oh whoa he's sleep oh oh yo yeah get the hell off of me dude this is insane to recover from a slap strikers earn points based on how hard the slap lands how do you hell slap somebody like that, dude? <laughs> Yo, why why would anyone join this type of fucking sport, dude? <laughs> this is crazy. Ow! Oh my god, look at his face! Alright, yeah, there we go. Wow! Man, that was a bitch slap, dude. What? Look, the girl in the white don't know how to slap, bro. Come on. She took that one like a Yeah, you took my man. You took my man. Take that. Oh, Julia. Ravi versus Denny Moore slap off. Wow. Oh, there you go. That now. Nah, there you go. Now the area. go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Boom. Man, come on, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can say it's a round of applause. Yeah, pay per view shit. <laughs> if Rami was a midget, that's him. <laughs> oh, gosh, dude. <laughs> Oh god. But anyways, guys, I'm running the stream here. Um they sponsored too, yeah. Uh we're gonna end the stream here, dude. Um I do appreciate you guys tapping in as always. I had some fun this morning. Ain't nothing really dropping, so uh we just kind of yapping uh for the rest of the week, dude. That's that's basically that's what's gonna go down here the rest of the week, man. It's just gonna bunch be a bunch of yapping. But if you guys don't mind, smash that like button on the way out. Let's get to 200 likes. Um, maybe it'll be live later this afternoon. I'm a little busy this afternoon. So I I, I don't know. We'll see if the vertical streams uh, will, will be live later. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But you guys enjoy the rest of your day, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, if anything. Uh, but if not, later this afternoon for a vertical stream. All right. But you guys have a good night. Good or good morning, and then uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the way out as well. All right, hit 
that like button on the way out. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Love y'all. Uh, congratulations to anybody that got EA as well. But I'll catch you guys later. All right. Peace. Black boy joy. She want to see the forms like I want to see her form. Tell me what you for. Yeah. Hey. You pay me what I'm owed. Yeah. 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 All this money on me. Yeah. Yeah. Cash rules all around me. Yeah. Yeah. All this money around me. Yeah. Yeah. Cash rules all around me.